windows, sign up on the side. However, the sign out front amazingly still says Toys R Us. There it is, the giant Toys R Us sign out front here. When they were setting this up, the guy told me they were probably going to put a big sign over top of that, which I'm really surprised they didn't do that. Maybe they still will. I don't know. It's only August. But, uh, but yeah, here's the store back here. Let's go on in and see what all they have set up in this one. I waited a little while to come down to this one because when I filmed the one that was in a JCPenney's over at New Philly, they didn't have any of the anima animatronics set up. And that's really what I want to see. So let's go in here and take a look around. They got that blocked off. This is where the carts used to be. Both sides are blocked off. All right, here we go. Hi, how you doing? Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this. The first thing is Bubba. Watch this, he'll come shooting out. I don't know if he's waiting for me to walk by. Let's see, here we go. Ah, there he is. <laughs> okay, so we got the Reaper's Wharf, like we saw over at, uh, over at the Pennies there in New Philly. Look at the giant spider over here. <laughs> and we got a, a skeleton being bit by the uh, by the shark bones or whatever you call it. This has got to be another animatronic over here. Let's, oh, I see. Step here. Let's go over here. Okay, so we're going to step right here. The spider must be part of the animatronic. Let's find this out here. I, oh, God, it is. <laughs> Although he wasn't able to like jump out of the hole. Okay, whoa, he heard me, got another one here. Step here to look over. And what's... I don't see anything happening with this one. Let's try this one here. Scarecrow, and he's waiting for us to step. Oh God! <laughs> Okay, all right, we gotta figure out what this one is, though. Something was supposed to happen over here. Okay, I see, whatever it is, it's not plugged in at the moment. We'll come back to that one. All right, look at this guy here. Step right up, step right up here. You'll be nice, very cheeky, healthy. Cut it! Ah. <laughs> wow, you're a fast one <laughs> I saw in another video this one and the mouth was moving. I don't know if this little girl is an animatronic. She's pretty creepy. Ooh, look at the eye! Ah! <laughs> okay, wait, we gotta step here, so maybe that goes to the girl. It must just be that guy, although he's like running constantly. Alright, let's check this one out. Oh, I see. He's moving. Like a body sack. That's pretty creepy. Look at this one over here. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Alright, let me get a big shot of the boat here. This one looks a little bit... No, I guess it is the same thing as over there at uh, the JCPenney's. Although, look up here. We got the skeleton up here, hoisting up the fish bones. <laughs> that one, that, I don't think that was set up with the other one. Alright, here we go. I like the porthole. This one's even clearer. The other one, I think, was like frosted or something. You couldn't see very well through it this. This is something I didn't film in the other store. Experimental Eddie. I wonder if he's set up in here somewhere. I think you can watch this video online, too. Alright, let's go see what else we can find in here. Here's a ton of animatronics here. Look at this. Mr. Toots. 
That is hilarious. Graveyard Ghoul Experimental Eddie. Yeah, that's the one we just saw in the video right there. Graveyard Ghoul. Ooh, Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. That's pretty cool. Sitting Scare Clown. Uh, Scarecrow, that's the one that scared me up there by the boat. Witch. Creepy Crimson Girl on a Swing. Let's look at these over here. Wait, wait, look at these. All right, come on. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got creepy towering clown. Uh, I thought I saw that one set up, but maybe not. We'll keep looking around. Roaming creepy bear. Oh, that's the girl from on the boat. Ghostly tricycle. Hugs the clown. Waving Wally. <laughs> There's always Wallys everywhere. Wally is everywhere. Crawling dead. Look at this one. I like that one. Feed the clown game. Abandon Annie. There's the corpse that was swinging up there. I like this one too, empty soul girl on a swing. Okay, here we got some setup over here. I wonder if he gets scary. I mean, he's scary enough as it is. We, oh, step here. There's only one difference between myself and the Undertaker. They take care of the and I make sure they never run out of gold. What is that, fingers in the glass? <laughs> Ooh. Daddy said we have to play outside. He doesn't want any more blood on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty creepy. All right. What is she gonna do? <laughs> Well, I can't get her to do anything, but it looks like... Look how her mouth is jagged. Apparently it's supposed to pop... Oh, there it goes! <laughs> that is pretty creepy. If I was a kid coming through a haunted house, that would scare the crap out of me. All of these would. Okay, Spirit Aquarium. I think they called it something different at the one in uh, New Philly. But, wait a minute, is this? Ooh, yeah, this is an animatronic. Will it do something? A lot of these you have to step on the mat and some of them are uh, like motion activated. I guess not. That would be a pretty creepy one though. It looks like his head like pops out from behind the headstone. All right, let's go in here. Ooh, they got fog in this one. We got the tentacles. That's the sound that means the shark's coming. Where is it? Okay, wait a minute. All right, let's do this again. See, here's the thing, when you walk in there, you trip it, but the shark comes too fast in this one where you don't see it. All right, here we go. Okay, you hear it? So we tripped it. Oh, there's a shark going by in this one. Look at these. these guys. That's like a pike. Okay, the shark should be coming out of here in any minute. What? Alright, wait, it's, it's starting over here. Alright, there goes the shark. Yeah, there we go. 
it took a minute for it to come back around once I tripped it. Where's the fog coming from? I don't know how they have it set up in here, but the fog is like spraying you right in the face. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Love these. Oh, press here. Oh look, his eyes light up. And Jason. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. All the costumes that, wait a minute, I see a Mr. Stay Puffed. Look at this. Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Michael Myers. Let's go around this side here. I think this is one of the creepiest masks in here, actually. It's like that Emmett Kelly. That's really creepy. Okay, apparently that's all of the animatronics. Yeah, apparently we got all the animatronics. They're on, all on this side here and then up on the ship. Um, everything else is just like the regular costumes like we saw over there at JCPenney's, but I do want to take a walk around and see if there's anything that they do have in here that they didn't over there. Oh, look at this. Pose and Stay Skeleton. They got a lot of these uh, life, almost life-size skeletons. That's not bad either. Look at this. That's 50 bucks. These usually are about 100 bucks. People take those life-size skeletons and then they use this stuff called, uh, I think it's called Great Stuff. It comes in like a spray can and it, it foams. You spray it out, it's real sticky and it foams. And they spray it all over those skeletons to make it like a corroded body. I used to do all kinds of... Uh, Halloween props. I'd make them at home. Yeah, it looks like they have uh, pretty much the same kind of costumes in each of these Halloween, or I mean in each of these uh, spirits. Although I remember last year seeing different props that, uh, that were kind of rare. Like you, they hadn't been out for a while. Like Halloween H2O and uh, stuff like that. Some of those are really hard to find nowadays. Look at this Halloween coffee mug. The many faces of Michael Myers. <laughs> That's hilarious. I actually have a Chucky coffee mug that is bigger than that, actually. It's huge. Oh, look, I missed this one. Pennywise. We all float down here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't think I had seen this one in the other store. Oh my god, look! <laughs> a bull with a moving mat, moving mouth. Yeah, I don't think I had seen this one in the other store. Because they were pretty much still setting up though, when I was filming over there. So there was, I think, a lot of things that weren't out yet. This pig. So many of these are so creepy. All right, now look at these Halloween masks here, these Michael Myers. This is supposed to be based on the first one, which looks pretty good, but it's a little bit too clean. I don't know. I mean, I think I like it better than the Halloween 2. But this one you could actually get and then kind of rough up a little bit. This mask, if you look close, you can see it was based on, well, it was actually... They actually used a real Captain Kirk mask to make this one for the original movie. And then there was all kinds of copyright issues, so they had to change them up every time they made a movie. That's why you see, like, these slight differences. Okay, so let me point this stuff out to you guys. This, as I showed you when we first came in, was the, uh, the Toys R Us. So if you look at the floor, you can see where there were, these were checkouts. These were checkouts right here. All these markings on the floor are where the uh, the aisles, like the shelves were. And this, yeah, these were all checkouts right here. It's funny because while I'm into looking at all the Halloween stuff around in here, I didn't even think about that. But when you stop and you look past all the Halloween stuff, that's when you can see the Toys R Us. Even though I just filmed in here recently, it's still difficult to see because they got the walls built up. So they're only using a portion of the store. But like right over here is where the customer service would have been. And if you watch my other videos, 
um, you can see where, like right down to where they were setting this up, the customer service sign was still hanging up. So this would have been customer service up here. Yeah, you can still see the outline of where like the kiosk or whatever you call it would have been. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me again. All this up here would have been the checkouts. You would have seen the checkout lane lights right up here. Yellow and blue checkouts up here. But you can see on the walls up here where they had uh, the shelves connected and everything. If we step over here for a second, you can kind of see through there where uh, the rest of Toys R Us is. In fact, I think that blue thing you see right there is the restroom sign. <laughs> see you later, shark bones. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Holy crap, that one actually scared me. <laughs>Check it out. I am still in Niles, Ohio, and I cannot pass up a chance to film another Spirit Halloween. There it is. I don't know what this was before Spirit moved in, but we're going to find out. Spirit Halloween. All right, let's go for it. It's so much fun. It's scary. Yes. I love the sights and sounds, guys. Okay guys, so this was a Joanne Fabrics before they moved in. Let's look around. Okay, look at this. It's pretty much the same setup in all these spirit stores. But there might be a few different things. Like, I don't think either of them that I've been to so far had this guy. I don't know if there'd be a way to turn him up or not, but I can't really hear much of what he's saying. But we got Bubba over here, the dog that jumps out at us. Let me show you him again. <laughs> Look at that. Creepy! Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah, here's another one. See, somebody told me that this guy was supposed to be on the front of the boat at one of the other ones that I filmed, and uh, he wasn't, but I don't see the mat that you're supposed to step on. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. He's creepy, but I don't see any kind of an animatronic thing with him, so I don't know if he's supposed to be moving or not. All right, let's move on here. Oh, here's the spider that jumps out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, that one actually scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this one actually jumps out of the boat. The one in, uh, in Canton, I think it was, he was set off to the side, and I'm not sure why, but this one actually scared the crap out of me when I stepped on a thing. We gotta do that again. <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> All right, let's go through here again. Here's a scary guy in the porthole. All right, and this is what I'm seeing at all of these this year. This is the theme, is this, this pirate ship, like the haunted pirate ship, which I love. And I love this guy right here. <laughs> I could look at these a hundred times and it'll never get old. The bag of bones up there. And here we got the cocoon guy. I think that's all he does though, is just kind of wobble around. I wish he wobbled around like violently. That would be creepy. All right, so hold on. Here's this other guy. 
he comes out for free hugs. But we got this little girl, and I don't know what she's supposed to do. Because she didn't work in the other ones. Let's see if... That must be part of this guy. But I thought she was supposed to be electronic, too. I guess not. All right, let's keep on moving here. Okay, yeah, it looks like the same kind of costumes that are pretty much everywhere. I mean, in all the spirit stores. And I thought that you'd be able to watch this video online, but I got on the website the other night and it was not on there. So if you come into one of these stores, you can watch this and uh, and see all the animatronics. That yeah, that's the scary spider that just scared the crap out of me. And there's the dog. But you can come in here and you can watch these videos on here and see all the new animatronics. I haven't seen that guy anywhere. The one with the uh, with the chainsaw there. Look and a bucket of uh, <laughs> holy crap, the bucket of organs. I don't think I've seen that guy set up anywhere either. Oh, that one either. This is cool. This one wasn't working in in the other store that I was in. Here he comes. <laughs> I don't know that the head is supposed to be in that position, but... And I kind of thought that it would, like, jump out real fast. That's so weird. Okay. Hopefully with uh, YouTube's new copyright rules. I won't get a strike with this music playing in the back, but look at these babies here. These things crack me up, man. <laughs> little terrors. It could be a regular baby with no evil face and it would still be a little terror. <laughs> look at those. Okay, wait a minute. I see cool stuff over here. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Slimer pathway markers. Those are sweet. Oh, huh, this one lights up and talks. Cool. Uh, let's see. Chucky. That's cool. A Chucky greeter. Michael Myers greeter. I think I saw that one in other stores too. Sam. Here's their uh, animatronics that are for sale. Yeah, I thought this guy, I thought his face would, like, jump out real fast or something to scare the crap out of you. I think they have pretty much the same thing set up at all the stores. Because I've seen this also. Um, I was kind of hoping they'd have other animatronics, though. This guy's pretty loud, though. Everybody has good childhood memories of the Follow me. I promise we will give you some new memories you will never forget. <laughs> that was so stupid. Um, this guy reminds me of the waving clown on Pee-wee's Big Adventure when he gets his bike stolen. And he comes back and there's just like a little bit of the chain links laying around him. Okay, just in case you're from this area and you have not seen my other videos, I'm going to go ahead and do these. Look at this. These girls are really creepy. Wait, how do I get them to move? These ones must... Those things are scary as crap. They must just be uh, motion activated, though. And this one I couldn't figure out the other day. You can see the, the jagged cut in her mouth, but I couldn't figure out like how you get her to actually do anything. Because she eventually talked to me in the other store, but... All right, let's go through the uh, haunted house here, the Spirit Aquarium. Here we go. Look, we got the windows like it's an aquarium. And you'll see different things float by. Like, here's a diver. Oh, killed. Where's the... Here we go. Oh, guys, look at the fog. 
Look at the fog coming out, that's sweet. <laughs> in the other store, I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. It was blowing right in my face, but it stopped before I figured it out. It's all coming out of these right here. What's that, a puffer fish? Oh yeah. They got it set up like it's like a museum or a zoo. Puffer fish, and then you'll see them right there swimming. Angler! Oh, I missed them. Angler fish. Piranha. The piranhas are what just ate the diver a minute ago. Oh, I see. This one's an octopus here. Okay, I don't know where he's at, but... And here we got the shark. He swims through this one. This is supposed to be like one giant shark tank along this wall. And he swims through here. And then when the music comes, that's when he smashes into this window here. See, that's cool. They got it set up uh, with good timing where he smashes against the, the window and then all the smoke blows out, the fog. The other stores have like a black sheet though hanging over the door there. It looks like pretty much everything else is the same, just like the basic costumes. Ooh, vampire fangs. Look at this, look at the cheap vampire fangs. That's hilarious, how much are these? 99 cents. Remember buying those things from like a gumball machines? And your saliva would get all in them and you'd be like, <laughs> that's so gross, oh my god. <laughs> All right, fake blood, demon blood, look at that. Oh my God, look, a banana hat. <laughs> Your face comes out there, holy crap. How much is that? I love that. $12.99, that's actually not bad. Banana face. This hard hat reminds me of Monsters, Inc. $23.19. Killer knives, axe, what's this? A trench knife. Worn cleaver. A rusty machete with a saw on it. Basic masks here. I've always thought this one was pretty creepy. Brother? <laughs> Look at this, guys. I like this one too, the scarecrow. And it looks, yeah, in motion. So as you move your mouth, his mouth moves. That's pretty creepy. All right, look at guys. This is what I'm talking about, how every store has different stuff kind of hidden. This has got several different kinds of Michael Myers masks. So this is Halloween 2. They had that at the one store. They had Halloween 1, which I don't see. Maybe back here, but yeah, look at this. Here's Halloween 1. This is the most generic... <laughs> Michael Myers mask, although it's thick. It's thick quality, even thicker than these. But this would be the one from the brand new movie. Well, a couple years old, but that one's actually kind of hard to find. Hold on, I dropped one here. What is this? Michael Myers, The Beginning. I haven't seen this mask anywhere. Yeah, so look at this. I've got one, two, three, four, five different kinds of Michael Myers masks. And this one is probably the best one, best looking one of them all. That's from last year's uh, re remake of Halloween, I guess you could call it. I, it was good. I liked the movie, but it wasn't my favorite. I didn't like Jamie Lee Curtis's character in that movie. A lot of people are going to kill me for that, but I didn't. I liked H20 better. But that's just an example of how you can find different things at each different spirit several different ones there. I don't even know why they have regular music playing in these stores. It should all just be Halloween sounds and Halloween music and stuff. It all just adds to the uh, atmosphere though. Look at this. <laughs> Ouija mystifying mints. <laughs> I got little kids Ghostbuster outfits. Look at this little Stay Puffed. That is hilarious. And we got the little, it says Rookie. I thought, for a second I thought it said Vankman, but it says Rookie. 
<laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Little kid's nightmare before Christmas. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, look at this. Let's see if they have the one that I liked from the other store. Yeah, here it is. Look at this. Pumpkin bunting. That, to me, is so hilarious. Look at that baby. Look at those chubby little cheeks. Holy crap. <laughs> Same with the tiger tot. Mischievous monkey. Those are some really good outfits. Look at this one. This is like baby teen wolf. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we've pretty much covered the whole store, except for like just the little basics. But the cool stuff we definitely got. Color change ghost. No, well, he's turned on, but he's not working. All right, guys, yeah, I think we got everything in here. If you live in the area, though, come down and check it out. Look, oh, look, I didn't see this before. What the, hay bale popper? He jumps up, that would be cool. And I didn't see this one either, Victorian Guardian Gargoyle. Grim Tabletop Gargoyle. Okay, and yeah, here's Jack Straw. He's on the front of the boat up there. He's supposed to lunge up from a chair, but he's apparently not working or something. <laughs> Hanging Hell Fiend. <laughs> I hadn't seen that one either. <laughs> Fogging Skull Pile. Reaper bust. Yeah, almost this whole pile here are ones that I haven't seen in the other stores. This is one of my favorite uh, costume. Wait a minute, look at this. What the heck? <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. This is one of my favorite costumes that I've been seeing. The inflatable wavy arms guy. That's pretty funny. I would totally wear that. All right, guys, let's roll out of here. I got to hit the road. I got about an hour and a half drive ahead of me. I got a ton of other stuff to do today. But yeah, if you live in the area, come down here and check out this store. Spirit Halloween, wait, what's this? What the heck? Look at the Sesame Street outfits. <laughs> Those are so awesome. <laughs> Anyways, this place is right across from Eastwood Mall. So come on down and check it out. Used to be Joanne Fabrics over here. I know somebody who would wear this every day of the week. Every day of the week, all year long. <laughs> Here's some more Michael Myers, the beginning masks. That is really a bad one. That, ugh. That is one of the worst Michael Myers masks I've ever seen. This, on the other hand, though, is a pretty dang good looking uh, Freddy Krueger. Usually, Freddy Kruegers are the bad ones. And look at this, guys. This is another version yet of the glove. Somebody's opened it, hold on. That is a really good looking glove. I saw these at the other stores, this like real cheap one with the plastic bendy knives. Then this one, which is even better, it's like a deluxe, but I have not seen these anywhere. Supreme Edition Replica Metal Glove. It's made of metal, guys. You could really, never mind. The YouTube bots will get me if I say that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm really out of here this time. That was fun, but I gotta go. Catch you later, peace. Guys, by request, I am back in Alliance, Ohio here um, to film the Spirit Halloween, which is now open. And since I've been here last, I found out that the Save-A-Lot down here actually originally was an A&P, and the Planet Fitness was a Woolworths. So that is pretty cool. But let's go on in here and, uh, and check out the Spirit Halloween in Alliance. So here it is. And uh, as I pointed out the last time I was here, this used to be a fashion bug. You can see the, the label up here still on that. And now it is Spirit Halloween. Now let's go on in and check it out.
Oh, it's quiet in this one. Hmm, that's kind of strange. I bet it's going to make these even scarier. Okay, so, as we're seeing in all of these Spirit Halloweens, the theme this year is like this haunted uh, watercraft. It's like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but there's a haunted boat. This one only has like part of the boat. But let's see, all right, this guy's supposed to jump up at us after we step on here. Let's see if it happens. Yo! Oh! scared the crap out of me. I knew it was going to happen and it still scared me. <laughs> All right. I don't think I got boxes in here, but there's a porthole in there. In other stores, you can actually walk through there. And they usually have like a monster right here looking in or something. I can't believe this guy scared the living crap out of me. I knew he was going to jump up and do that too. And I still got scared. He didn't work in the other store. All right, wait, let's look at these quick. Okay, so this is the one that just, no, sitting scarecrow. This one just like lifts his head and scares the crap out of you. The towering clown. We'll see if any of these are set up in here anywhere. But uh, I've seen that one working. I've seen this one. Abandoned Annie. I have not seen a good working model of her yet. Uh, Man's possessed friend. That's the one with Bubba the dog. It jumps out of the doghouse at us. We got the brown jumping spider, which scared the crap out of me in the one store that I was in. I can't remember which one that was. Uh, let's see. Double trouble. These girls are pretty creepy. They say stuff like, Daddy doesn't want us playing in the house because he doesn't want blood on the floor or something like that. I've not seen Mr. Toots anywhere. That might be one actually from a couple years ago or something. I don't know. Oh, Waving Wally is back here. I've seen that one set up. Hugs the Clown, is that? No? I've seen him set up too. And then this one here, he like wobbles back and forth when he's hanging. I wish he swung around violently. That would be a lot better. All right, let's walk through here a little bit. Look how simple these are, but they're pretty creepy. All this is is some hands on like a wire structure and then you got the face but it's so creepy and it looks like the eyes probably light up those look like lead lights in there that would be cool i don't think i've seen these in other stores that's pretty creepy looking what are these skull i think this is that sam from trick or treat that's pretty cool looking okay Let's take a walk here. Kind of strange that there's no sounds in here. All the other stores have like booming music and loud ghostly sounds going on. Here's some hanging ones. Ooh, look at this guy. I'm not a big clown person, but that is pretty creepy. I don't think I've seen him anywhere else. There's a skull guy. <laughs> a skull guy. Oh, look at these. I don't think I've seen these in other stores either. Oh, okay, maybe maybe they just package different. Because I remember this guy here. At least the face looks familiar. He's like animated and talks and stuff. Unless that's a costume. I guess it's a costume. I don't know. Strange. All right, let's see if we have Michael Myers. Oh, here's a Chucky. That's a cool looking Chucky, even though it's it's plastic, it's still really good, good looking. All right, let's go this way, guys. I There's got to be, whoops. Look, that's a pretty cool mug. Oh, Losers Club. I haven't seen that anywhere else. There's gotta be Michael Myers masks somewhere where are you all right let's see over here maybe oh, we got some Friday the 13th stuff it looks like over there what's this five nights at Freddy's here's child's play to Chucky yep my friend Kyle would wear that every day all day 
ghost face. You can never go wrong with ghost face. Okay, let's move on down here. They got a lot of stuff they're still setting up in here. But there still is tons of cool stuff. Oh my god, here's Donnie the Dino. <laughs> the inflatable dino. A lot of people are seeing these in my videos and wanting to know about them. Well, here they are. Go down to your local spirit. Because they've had them in every single one so far. Look at the bear. That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Big inflatable poo. Inflatable rainbow poo. Oh, maybe it's not inflatable. But it still is a rainbow poo. Okay. Gotta have Michael Myers. Where in the world would he be? Michael! Oh, okay, I see somebody with an it mask, so that means here's the movie stuff over here. All right, let's see. Okay, here's Freddy stuff. I don't think I've seen the hats in other stores. They got patches here. Never sleep again. That's a pretty cool patch, actually. They got two of the different kinds of gloves. And yeah, this is this is a, a decent mask, Freddy mask. Usually they look horrible. All right, let's keep moving here. Oh, here's a Sam mask. I don't think I've seen this in other stores. Trick or treat. Michael, where are you? Here we go, Michael. Okay. So, in these stores I'm finding that there are different ones available. It looks like this has three available. So this would be the original Halloween 2. No, this is the original Halloween right here. Not too bad of a looking mask. And then we got Halloween 2 back here. A little bit different. This weird one here, Michael Myers, the beginning. That has got to be the worst Michael Myers mask I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and what's up with the Christmas sweater? And then we got this one from uh, the most recent remake. That is actually a really good looking mask right there. Oh, I don't think I've seen this shirt anywhere else. Camp Crystal Lake. That's pretty good. Here's a Halloween hat. I haven't seen that either. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake patch. That's cool. Voorhees mask. Alright, and what's over here? Oh, okay, we got all the It stuff over here. This is a pretty cool sign right here. Dairy Maine. This is a full outfit right here. It looks like. Maybe the mask doesn't come with it. it. Includes shirt with attached belt, collar, and mask. Yeah. So the mask is in there somewhere. And then we got the rubber masks here, one of which I accidentally knocked off. That's a pretty creepy looking mask, though. $59.99. Not too bad for a good looking mask. Masks can be pretty expensive. <laughs> You got the plastic one here, too. That'd be cool just to hang on the wall. I wouldn't hang it on my wall, but... Oh, it teeth. Okay. Alright. So, I think this was all the animatronics I saw. Um, she did say they have a lot to set up still in the whole store here. And I got lucky with no music playing, so I don't have to worry about the copyrights. Well, look at this. Michael Myers' window cling. Looks like, looks like he should be on the cover of GQ. <laughs> oh, I actually have this. My son got it for me last year, I think it was. Do they have my... No, they don't have it, but I also have a Chucky mug that is... I think it's even bigger than this one right here. This is huge, but mine is even bigger than that. It holds like two to three cups of coffee at once. It's huge. This is a pretty cool cup right here. Every day is Halloween. Michael Myers. What is this? Disney, Ghostbusters, 
Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Cha -cha -cha. <laughs> Witch fingers. <laughs> what, what the heck? Squishy mouse. I keep knocking stuff off. Harry Spider. Stay right there, Harry. And then we got a couple of pop figures here. Uh, you know what I haven't seen in here is uh, Hocus Pocus. All right, guys, yeah, we got the Hocus Pocus. Wait a minute, this is what I was thinking about earlier. The door knockers, and look, I haven't seen this one or this one in the other stores. Let's see if these are... Hey, let me guess your weight before and after I take a few bites out of you. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> Hello again. I almost didn't recognize you. You smell so different when you're awake. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Maybe you've come here looking for a little treat, a little something to eat. I know I just found what I want. You. <laughs> you god. <laughs> All right, yeah, these are the ones that I've seen in the other stores. Hanging on this door takes a lot of guts. Mine were scooped out to make a pie. Now I think I'll take yours. <laughs> you can knock all you want, but the bell is inside my mouth. I dare you to ring it. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> God, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Hey, we got the crazy babies. What? Uh, I don't think I've seen these anywhere either. Standing on your head, babies. Okay. Ooh, creepy clown pathway markers. I don't think I saw those either. See, some of these stores have things that the others don't. More clowns. Life-size skeletons. Let's see. What is this here? Oh, more jumping spiders. That must be a, a good seller. Black jumping spider. Oh, these are black. The ones up front were brown. There's some Michael Myers door greeters. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then over here is... Where is it? Oh, the Hocus Pocus stuff. Yeah. I've seen this in uh, in other stores too, the Hocus Pocus uh, decorations and stuff. The Sanderson sisters. A lot of people love that stuff. I hated that movie when I first saw it. Look at this one. Oh look, another glorious morning. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The thing that sold me on that movie was the bullies, how they're like, got any cash, Hollywood? <laughs> All right, I think. We have pretty much covered it all, or at least what they have set out right at the moment. And like I said, they'll be setting other stuff out too. Wait, is there more back here? Oh, no, I guess not. Maybe they're just preparing stuff back here. Yeah, they must be setting that up and then bringing it out to the floor later on. Here's the adult-sized dinos, the inflatable dinos. Everybody loves these things, man. All right. Somebody's going to ask me how much it is. How much are you, Dino? Where? Oh, $79.99 for the inflatable Dino outfit. They got a bunch of them here, too. So if you want one and you're in Alliance, come get it. I've seen those in all the spirit stores I've been to so far. Here's the Where's Waldo hat. Wally needs this. <laughs> Oh, and I almost missed this. Look. Pizza Planet jacket. I would wear this every day of my life. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I tried to show this in one of the other videos. And uh, the music was just so loud and blasting right, right above me. So I couldn't even do it. But, yeah, look at that. Pizza Planet. And that's, like, legit embroidered on there. I think this is cool, too, that they have these, the Ghostbuster stuff. Look, they have the Proton Pack. <laughs> Inflatable Stay Puffed. That's pretty funny. But they got, like, pretty much the whole outfit here. Anything you'd need. I think it's cool to have that stuff. 
All right, guys, let's roll. I think we've seen it all. If you guys live in Alliance, come on down and check it out. Get you some Halloween-y stuff. I'm out. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Look at this guys, I have not seen these anywhere either. Freddy pathway markers. Oh, that is sweet. Okay, that is definitely awesome. And then we got these over here too that I have not seen anywhere. Jason's. That is cool. <laughs> All right guys, I am in St. Clairsville, Ohio now. A um, bunch of people have requested I come down here and do this one. Spirit Halloween. This is in the old Sears. So we're going to go through here and check out the store. And then I noticed on the other side there, we can see in the doors of the old Sears. So we're going to go take a look at what used to be the uh, the sales floor in that. But we're going to check out Spirit Halloween first. All right, guys, I'm excited already because just walking in the door, I see uh, animatronics that I have not seen anywhere else, including over here. Well, I'll show you in a minute. Hold on, one at a time. All right, guys, here we go. This one first. Hold on. In my pouch. What? Okay, hold Once on. Once I take your... <laughs> you think... What the... There's a force of pure evil here on this earth. More evil than I could ever dream to be. I collect human flesh to feed that evil. The more, the better. That was a long laugh. All right, hold on, is he done? Yeah, okay, he's done. And here we go with a ginormous clown. Look at this guy. Seriously? <laughs> okay, let's go around here a minute. That was a seriously long laugh, but this is the one I wanted to show you guys. Okay, wait a minute. While this one is resetting, I'll show you these other two over here. We've seen these in the other stores, but I'll show you anyway for anybody who is strictly watching the one from St. Clairsville here. Okay, we got the spider that jumps out. <laughs> I like that one. He scared the crap out of me in the other store. And then we got this uh, scarecrow here, the sitting scarecrow. <laughs> and then right over here we have Pennywise. Okay, I have not seen what he does yet. All right, well, that was kind of cool. I mean, I expected him to do more than that, actually, but. <laughs> I mean, it looks really cool, but the action, honestly, was pretty disappointing. But it looks pretty awesome, though. Okay, so it looks like we've got, like, the typical stuff that I've seen in the other stores. Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, they got the good glove. You can actually buy a glove online on eBay where people have uh, made replica gloves and actually used the P210 knives. Um, <laughs> if you're a real Freddy fan, you know what that means. Um, P210 is the knives that he actually used for his glove in the original movie. 
And I mean, if you just want to buy the knives, they're like 80 bucks a piece on eBay, but you can buy the whole glove that people have built. All right, let's see. So we got the Myers masks, knives. What else we got over here? We got Chucky. I don't know why everything is Child's Play 2 though. I mean, everything I see in these stores, Child's Play 2. There's no Child's Play 1. I don't know if I've seen, yeah, I've seen that one. Jason. All right, let's see. Then we got like the regular costumes and stuff. Here's Pennywise. All right, let's go on. Oh, I have not seen this one anywhere. I mean, I've seen it in the box, but I've not seen it actually working. Let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, here he goes. <laughs> I think I expected him to do a little bit more than that. Just slowly driving around. It's almost like he's on a Roomba or something. Very strange. I expected a lot more from that guy. <laughs> All right, let's go check out over here. Do we have more animatronics? Okay, we got a stack of them over here. A mummy fogger. I've not seen this one in other stores. Oh, let's see. Tortured torso. Yeah, I have seen that one. Uh, there's Mr. Toots right there. That's the one we were just watching. Jumping spiders. Cocooned corpse. Sitting scarecrow. Double Trouble, Experimental Eddie, Jack Straw. All right, let's see. Hugs the Clown, Abandoned Annie, Reaper Bust, Creepy Towering Clown. I, I'm pretty sure that this one's from last year. Um, I think that's the one we just watched up there at the front. But I think he's left over from last year. Okay, let's look around a little bit here. Oh, uh, yeah. We got more animatronics back here. Let's go check these out. Looks like the ones that we've seen in the other stores. But, oh, here's Slimer Pathway Markers. I don't think I've seen these in other stores. They got some pretty cool stuff in here. Okay. So this is the Spirit Aquarium here. All right. Honestly, he's kind of boring because that's like all he does. This guy's kind of cool because the mouth is supposed to move. You can hear him talking and the eyes are moving, but the mouth isn't going anywhere. Okay, let's see. This is Experimental Eddie. Let's see if he works. Yep. Okay, here's this. Oh, I missed that one. She just jumped up at us. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've not seen that one work that good before yet, but here's this one that we missed. Let's wait till she's sitting down. Come on. All right, here we go. Look, that's out into the mall. This was the entrance to Sears. Okay. Oh, maybe this one does something. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my god, all right, I gotta see that one again then. <laughs> I was right up in its face, too. 
Okay, here we go, watch this. <laughs> yeah, that scared the crap out of me. All right, let's go through the Spirit Aquarium. Here we go. Can't hear much in this one. And I don't see any fog. There's our shark. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Tentacles. I didn't see any fog come blasting out of this one. You can feel air coming out of these, but there's no fog. And it's not very loud. In the other ones, it's like so loud it blasts your ears out when, when the shark flies up against there. All right. Look, this store actually has a clearance section. That's something I have not seen in any of these stores before. Oh, well. Okay, so this is what it looks like, guys, the whole place. This kind of seems like a bigger one than... Uh, than any of the other stores. Probably the biggest one I've been in. And yeah, this was, uh, this was the Sears. Now let's step out into the mall for a second here and I'll show you the, the old Sears entrance. All right, so there it is. We got Spirit Halloween over where the Sears sign was. But that was the entrance at the end of this mall here. Unfortunately, I don't have time right now to take a walk through the mall, but I'll come back and film that another time. So, yep, here's our walkthrough of what was the Sears. Now you can kind of pay attention to things like the floor and the carpet. This was all part of Sears. Can't really see... Okay, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. i got to find a place to peek behind the scenes. Okay guys, so I asked the girl if I could look behind the behind the curtain to show you uh, Sears. She said no, but we can go outside around to the other doors and look through there and see it. In fact, what we're about to see is what's behind that curtain right there. Excuse me. Okay, yeah, that lady said it was prohibited for me to look behind the curtain. So, that's cool, because when I was on my way over here, I did notice that right around the corner here, we can see straight into the doors. So let's go do that. Okay, this was it. This was one of the entrances to Sears. And look, it's wide open here. We can see everything behind the scenes. <laughs> Yep, that used to be the sales floor for Sears. And straight ahead is that curtain I just said we were just about to see behind. <laughs> so, we got to see behind the scenes of the Sears. Look at that. Look at the carpet squares, how they're pulling up. Hmm. That's it. Not a whole lot to see, but oh look, they got the, uh, the other doors papered off here in the background. And you can just barely see the Sears uh, label scar up there. There it is, guys. That's actually pretty clear. The last time that I was here, when I filmed uh, the Kmart on the other side of the mall, it was actually already closed and, and left alone and everything. But they had uh, the cart corrals out here that actually belonged to the Kmart. I mean, in front of the Sears here, Sears was using the Kmart cart corrals. And I don't see any out here at all now. None at all. That's it, guys. Just a fun look at the Spirit Halloween inside the old Sears at Ohio Valley Mall in St. Clairsville. I'll see you guys later. Peace.
tamaño. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm running around filming some things today. I'm actually on my way from Brunswick back to Canton and uh, I decided to pull over here for a minute and I found a Spirit Halloween that is inside an old MC Sports. Let me go on the other side here a minute and I'll show you the, uh, the label scar. Yeah, this one you can see really clear. The one on the other side is covered up by the Halloween, uh, the Spirit Halloween sign, but let's go on in here. This is a huge store. I'm really curious to see if they have anything different than the other ones. I think David's Retail Adventures. I think he lives in this area and he may have filmed this. I'm not positive, but uh, if he did, shout out to your brother. Okay, yeah, I love the way this one looks. And look what's front and center, Pennywise. <laughs> Let's step on this thing and see if he works better than the other ones I've seen. Ugh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I can't hear what he's saying. It's so quiet, but he jumped up and scared the living crap out of me. Okay, we got the Reefers Wharf. Reapers, not Reefers. The Reapers Wharf set up here like any other stores. This is Bubba here. You'll see him jump out in a second. Ugh. That was a good one. He was nice and loud. He actually made me jump. All right, so the Reaper's Wharf. Oh my God, they do have, I've never seen that clown anywhere yet. These are pretty much all set up the same way in these stores. I called this one Sitting Jack the other day, but it's actually Jack Straw. See if he works. Come on. It actually did scare me because it took him took a minute. I'm like stomping on the thing over here. Here comes the jumping spider. <laughs> that spider is actually one of my favorites. Okay, let's keep looking around here. There should be another one sitting over here, but there's not. All right, let's walk through here a minute. Can't think of what this guy's name is. Uh. I can't think of what his name is. Experimental Eddie, I think it is. Okay, now look at this ginormous clown here. I don't think I've seen him in any other stores. He, he's so huge, I'm almost afraid to step on this thing, but... Crap, it's gonna make me stomp on it a couple times. Look at this, his hands are right here. So when I step on this, I have to be right up in his hands. <laughs> I can't get him to work, but look at this guy. When I step up on this, it puts me right in his arms. So then I don't know if he's gonna like grab me or what, but his face is right there. <laughs> oh, here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Crap. I mean, he just... He just laughs. Okay, that was a lot less than I expected. I thought maybe the arms were gonna, like, try to grab me or something. But it was scary enough standing right there in his arms. Alright, I have not seen this one anywhere either. So here we go. That's pretty cool. Three-headed wolf. And of course there's this guy who I've seen in almost all of them. Let's work our way around here. Ooh. I have seen this one. I'll show you for anybody who's watching this for the first time. He's actually making sounds. He got caught in the web. Now I have not seen this one set up anywhere, so I don't know what he does, but let's find out.
Okay, I mean, that's pretty cool for an animatronic. Not scary, but... And here's this guy. I know that when I step on this, he's gonna lunge. You there! You wanna play a game? Yes, please. Then I get to eat you. Got ya! Ah, well, I'll just have to catch the next one then. Yeah, that's a good one. I really like that one. When they lunge at you, it scares the living crap out of you. Okay, let's see if they have anything different in terms of Freddy or Michael, Jason. Uh, this is pretty much what I'm seeing everywhere. All right, let's see. Here's Chucky, and uh, you know, like I, I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen the girls' version anywhere. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. Whoops. I don't think I've seen this one anywhere. That's a pretty awesome Jason mask. 40 bucks. That's nice and thick and heavy. Look how thick that is. 40 bucks. That's a good mask for 40 bucks. I always like this stuff. I love Karate Kid. Cobra Kai. I should buy that hat. Cobra Kai hat. $22. I don't think I can get myself to spend that money right now. Okay, let's go on over to the Spirit Aquarium. We've been through this in the other stores, but... Alright, let's see how this guy's working, because everywhere he seems to work a little different. <laughs> I never heard it talking before. And I expected that the face would, like, jump out real fast, but he doesn't. He moves real slow from side to side. There he goes. Okay. Spirit Aquarium. Here we go. I hear him coming already. There's Mr. Shark. Great White. Sunken Treasure. That's what I wanted you to see when the shark comes flying up and smashes out through the glass there. And there's a little bit of fog going. Just the slightest a bit. The slightest amount. The slightest a bit of fog. <laughs> okay. Go on out here. I see Michael Myers already. We're going to go check those out in a second. But I want to see the anime, uh, animatronics over here. And it looks like they have the same setup as pretty much everywhere. I think this guy's, yeah, motion activated. You look like a natural for our freak show. If you need a job, I'll introduce you to the boss, but uh, all applicants must be dead. Look at his nose lights up. <laughs> Alright, this guy's supposed to move his mouth and his eyes. Of course, his mouth isn't moving. Then we got the sisters. Double trouble. Come on, Double Trouble's work. There we go. Talk to me, ladies. Talk to me. What in the world? All right. Wait, here we go. Everybody has a good childhood memory. You're teasing me now. Talk. <laughs> They're just teasing me. All right. See if this one will work right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that one works better than any of them I've seen so far. I mean, any of this one. She's called Abandon Annie. That's the best working one I've seen yet in one of these stores. Here is Experimental Eddie. He's the one that I said was up in the boat there. He works pretty good. Okay, let's check this chick out. Demonic Dahlia. I think she just, yeah, she jumps out at you. Okay, so here we go. Come on. 
Oh god! <laughs> Why these ones are like making me stomp on them? That's actually a better effect than when you just tap it and then she jumps up. Okay, and we got one more here, and this is the girl that scared the living crap out of me at the one in uh, St. Clairsville, I think it was, at the old Sears. <laughs> one at the Sears was set up so that she was hanging right, that when she jumped up with her head like that, it was right in my face. Look guys, I haven't seen this anywhere else. Nightmare Before Christmas Monopoly. That's pretty awesome, man. I haven't seen that anywhere. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. Here is, I don't think I've seen this one, the Grim Graven Angel. That one might be left over from one of the previous years. And I know there's a few people who will tell me. Oh, here we go. Cerebrus, the three-headed wolf dog thing, whatever it is. Area 31 capsule. Oh my god, I have not seen that one. That is so cool. That may be my favorite one ever, and it's on clearance. Hold on, I might buy it. All right, I'm not going to buy it, but that is pretty cool. It seems that I remember seeing him in action a couple years ago in one of these. All right, let's see. I think I've seen all these other ones here. Okay. Let's go back over here to... Wow, that's a stocked aisle. But let's go back over here to where we saw the... Uh, Michael Myers mask. Hey, I haven't seen this pillow anywhere. Michael Myers sleigh pillow. Oh, I haven't seen these either. Pennywise pathway markers. Those are pretty cool. I love when these stores have different things I haven't seen in in uh, in other ones. That's a pretty cool water bottle. I ought to get that. All right. Let's head over here. I think I've seen all this except for. Except for this one right here, this blanket. I wish it was Friday. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I've seen this one either. That's pretty cool. Nightmare on Elm Street blanket. Okay, gotta check out the Michael Myers masks over here. Ooh, the old MC Sports in there. Look at this. Woods and water sign. <laughs> I know, they don't like me to go behind the scenes, so I'm not going to, but let's see here, though. I don't think I've seen that version of the Chucky mask. That's a pretty good one. Ghost face. I have not seen any of the, uh, the new fluorescent black light reactive ghost faces anywhere. I mean anywhere. Online, in any stores, only my eBay store. Okay, so, here's Halloween 1 mask. Not too shabby. This is the worst one I've ever seen. Halloween Michael Myers, the beginning. Worst Michael Myers mask ever. Here's the newer one here. That's a pretty good mask. Halloween 2. That's a pretty good one, too. And I believe that's a Halloween 2 up there. And I don't see any more Michael Myers masks. This is actually a pretty good looking fake leather face mask. It's pretty simple, but that looks pretty decent. This guy's a T-Rex mask with moving jaw. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. <laughs> President Pout. Okay, that looks exactly like him. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, we got the superheroes. Here's all the kids stuff over here. I think that's pretty much it for the adult masks. Pretty good looking store though. It's set up really nice. Most of the animatronics worked good and everything. Alright guys, I think that's it. I think we've seen everything in here. That was some awesome animatronics. I love the ones that like required me to stomp on them to get them to work and then they jump right up in my face. So, alright I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If I find any more spirits, I will definitely film them. See you guys later.
Look at this, just as much as her face is sticking out, that's scary as it is. Let's see if she works. Okay, she's talking. <laughs> Damn it, I knew she was gonna jump and I still was scared. Guys, check it out today. I am in Cuyahoga Falls. I believe this is called Chapel Hill Plaza and we are going to go in and explore a spirit Halloween which is in an old former H.H. H. Gregg. This is awesome. Check it out guys. There it is. The big spirit Halloween sign and that's a huge one over top of what uh, used to say H.H. H. Gregg. Appliances and electronics. You can kind of see the label scar up there underneath. And there it is. So let's go on in and see if they got anything different from what's in these other Spirit Halloweens. I love going in these places. I love seeing all the animatronics. I love getting scared by everyone that I know is going to jump at me already. And I'm such a wimp, I still get scared. All right, here we go. Reaper's Wharf. And immediately I see one that I have not seen before. Okay. For anybody who has not watched any of my other Spirit Halloween videos, if you are from this area and you are watching this one specifically because of this area, I'm gonna show you everything that we see here just like I do in the other ones. First we got Bubba. This is a scary dog that jumps out when you step on the mat. I love that one. He, If he works right, he makes me jump every single time. Look at the red eyes. Okay. Now this is a little bit different. This one is the creepy towering clown. They always have these things set up a little bit different. It's, it's all the same setup this year, the Reaper's Wharf with the haunted ship, but they have different animatronics set up in each place. And I don't remember what this one does. I should know by now. He's pretty cool. Look how huge he is, too. He's probably, he's probably seven feet tall. He's enormous. <laughs> okay, now, here we got, I always get this guy mixed up with, uh, with this one over here. This is Jack, holy crap, that scared me. This is Jack Straw right here, and this is a sitting scarecrow. Oh, okay, yeah, it says right here, sitting scarecrow. Okay, so check this guy out. I just jumped like a little girl when he did that. <laughs> All right, now let's compare him to Jack Straw. Come on, Jack. Don't tease me here. Oh. <laughs> See, the thing that scares me so much is that I have to stop, step on these, and sometimes I have to actually, like, stomp on them to get them to work, and that's what just happened here. All right, right behind me is one that I have not seen in the stores yet. Uh, let's see, what's he called? I don't know, they don't have his name set up anywhere, but I saw him online. He's... Something's making noise. Oh, it's the speaker. <laughs> okay. All right, come on. That's disappointing. He's not working right now, and I really wanted to see. Let's see if the girl can get him to work for us. All right, guys. Well, he's called Rusty, and she just said that uh, they had to order another one for them to send in because just within the last couple of days, he stopped working. So that one we will be getting replaced. But let's move on here. Okay, we got this giant guy. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, I've seen him in other stores. In my pouch, I have a rare delicacy. I stabbed it. I hit it with a hammer. You think it would have the common courtesy to die? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've heard him say that though in the other stores. Okay, now look at this. This looks cool because these guys are already moving over here. I love this. All right, first let's go through here. We always got to go through here. And there's Experimental Eddie. <laughs> Okay. 
We got some other ones set up here. This guy I love because he lunges at us, hugs the clown. All right. You there? You want to play a game? If I catch you, then I can eat you. Got you! Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, well, I'll just have to catch you. <laughs> he's actually one of my favorites because he lunges and he scares you you know just like the ones up here that we saw they always scare the crap out of me all right we got sam here i think that's all he does all right this one here i gotta tell you i wish that this guy, it's called the Cocooned Corpse. And I so wish that he whipped around violently. But this is all he does. He just moves real slow. And I don't know, I mean, it's cool. It's a guy cocooned in spider webs. But if I was cocooned in spider webs, you better believe I'd be fighting to get out. <laughs> And that would definitely be a lot scarier if he was whipping around. Like this guy here, look at this. Tortured torso. I love this guy. Look, he's hanging up here. You don't have to step on anything to, uh, to activate him. He just moves like that constantly. And if half my body were ripped off, that's exactly what I'd be doing. <laughs> Okay, Crouchy. Okay, I didn't know his name the other day. I've done a couple of these videos, a bunch of them actually. And this guy's name is, is Crouchy. Oh my God, he looks so much scarier than the other one. Look at the size of his hands compared to mine. How you doing there, Crouchy? <laughs> all right, well, and I don't even have to step on anything because he's moving already. I wonder if he's motion activated. We do have this but I noticed that he was moving earlier anyway, so he's enormous. He's got to be... God, he's probably seven feet tall, too. He's huge. Those hands are what really creeps me out. Just look how huge these are. Look at this. His hands are as big as my head. <laughs> he can just grab me and crush. All right, guys, we got Cerebrus here. Fog machine compatible. Online, you see these light up and fog comes out of their mouth, I think. So... Yeah, okay, cool, look how they're lit up. I don't think they lit up like this in the, in the other store. I really like that, that's awesome. <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> I would love to see fog coming out their mouth, that would look so cool. Curious to see what else they have set up in here. I wanna see if they have a Pennywise, because I've yet to find a Pennywise that, look, that works really awesome. And I want one to really scare me. But let's look at some of this other stuff here. I think this suit is supposed to be like that stupid David R. Pumpkins or something from Saturday Night Live. I mean, I like the suit, but the skit I just never got into. Just wasn't funny to me. Okay, this is cool. I don't know if I've seen... Yeah, that's kind of... I don't know if I've seen the rubber mask in other stores. I know I've seen these. <laughs> look at these. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen those either. If they were in other stores, I didn't pay attention. And somebody asked me if I have seen an adult Shazam costume, so I gotta keep an eye out for that. I don't know if I have or not. Okay, here we go. Here's the Michael Myers. I always gotta check them out to see uh, if they have different kinds here. And these look pretty much the same. I hate the hair like that, but this mask is actually a pretty good looking mask from Halloween 2. Let's see. Yeah, they got all the varieties of the Nightmare on Elm Street gloves here. That's the most expensive one and, and the best looking. And then you've got, you know, cheaper ones that are bendy knives and that. Obviously, you don't want to hurt anybody. Kruger mask, sweater, Stranger Things. All right, let's keep on moving here. You gotta love the skeleton stuff. Although, I did notice that some of these stores have uh, Cobra Kai stuff, but no Cobra Kai skeleton outfits. Hmm. All right, Friday the 13th, we got the Voorhees jersey here. For chicks, I think. <laughs> Socks. I've seen this mask in pretty much every store. 
I don't see the other ones though. Here's a ghost face costume. You can never go wrong with ghost face. I love Scream. All right, let's see what else we can find here. Huh, Eddie Booter. Okay, here's all the It stuff. This is, this is probably the best It mask I've ever seen. That's a really, really good one. Oh look, they have, I'm, I bet they have these in the other stores, but I never noticed. Hugs the Clown costume. So that's the one over here that I said I really like because he lunges at you with the purple hair. I never noticed the costume before. Oh, here's another Pennywise mask. I don't know, I haven't seen this one in the other stores. That's more of like a deluxe, I guess, but honestly, I like this one better. I think that looks better. And of course, they got the full costumes then. The hammers. <laughs> this store is pretty decked out, actually. They have a lot of stuff in here. I love this. Look at this. Pizza Planet jacket. I would wear this thing every day. Look at that. That is so cool. And that's embroidered, too. Look at that. Yeah, that's not just printed on there. That's embroidered. So you could legit wear that as a regular jacket. Go deliver pizza to somebody's house. <laughs> okay, I see we got the Spirit Aquarium over there, so we'll make our way over there in a minute. I just want to poke around here a little bit more at the costumes. See if there's anything else that I haven't seen. What the heck, Bob Ross? I don't think I've seen that in other stores. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. Alright, let's keep looking here. Never know what you're going to find in these, because most of them have the same stuff, but you never know. Sometimes you come across stuff that's totally different. What is this? Yes, look at this. Inflatable SpongeBob and Patrick. That's hilarious. I could just put on those shorts and be Patrick. I'm so fat. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Okay, let's keep on looking here. I, I don't think too many people are buying those. I see a ton of those in every store I go to. Black lights. I actually need a black light. I should pick one of these up. What in the heck is this, guys? A pumpkin Fortnite launcher. Fortnite pumpkin launcher. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh, look at this. They got the uh, the Slimer. I've Actually, I don't think I've seen one of these Slimers. Oh my god, he's pretty cool. He's like thick foam. That is pretty awesome. I got a second one, too. Look, guys, I found him. Mr. Toots. I'm just so disappointed that all he does is roll very, very slow. <laughs> I mean, that's sort of creepy in a way, but that's way too slow for me. And here he is in the box. Look, on the box it shows it like he goes whizzing by, but out there in reality he's just creeping along. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about, about finding things that are not available in the stores anymore, but they have old stock. Here's one I haven't seen before. Zombie hand lawn stakes. They're enormous hands. Look how big they are compared to my hands. <laughs> Roaming Chucky doll. I think he's basically the same thing as Mr. Toots, who is still out here, slowly roaming around the floor. That is too funny. But look, he's basically on a Roomba. And I bet it's the same thing with this looming straw man. I bet he's just on a, a Roomba, Zumba. I don't know. I can't remember what he's called. <laughs> but he probably does that same thing. All right. Let's keep looking around here a little bit. There's the uh, haunted aquarium. We're going to check that out in just a second. But let's see if there's any other animatronics that are not set up or that I haven't seen in other stores. Now, here we go. Here's a Jack Skellington. I've seen, uh, heck, I can't even remember what her name is, Sally, but I have not seen him anywhere. Then, of course, we got Sitting Scarecrow and Sinister Spirit Doll. Okay, oh, look at this, guys. You can see the old H.H. Gregg signs up here. Mattress Center, appliances, and look at this. Digital Home Theater, oh my god. I was so absorbed in the spirit of Halloween that I forgot to look at the uh, the H.H. Gregg stuff. That is pretty amazing. Look at this all around. 
Home Solutions Furniture. Even up front, it says, thank you for shopping H.H. Gregg. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. It totally slipped my mind because I was so enveloped in what I'm doing here. But anyways, back to Spirit Halloween. Okay. All right, we gotta go around the other side. Wait a minute, let's look at the, the uh, animatronics here. These in every store are pretty much the exact same thing from every store. It's pretty much the same thing here. All applicants must be dead. That's not a problem, is it? This guy, his eyes and mouth are supposed to move. Yeah, there we go. That one probably works better than any of the other ones I've seen. The mouth is usually the problem. And these girls here. Come on, girls. Not working. They're pretty creepy when they work. This one does not... Oh, here they go. Why did it take so long? Okay. Yeah, there they go. They're moving now. Um, this one here, Abandon Annie. She's pretty cool if you haven't seen her yet. She talks for a minute, and then you see how her mouth is jagged. Her mouth opens and closes really big, and it turns into like a demon voice. And here's the uh, experimental Eddie that I showed you guys when we first walked in when we went through the porthole thing up here. Let's see if he works. Yep. That one actually works really good. Oh crap, here's the one that scared me the other day so bad. Look at this, just as much as her face is sticking out, that's scary as it is. Let's see if she works. Okay, she's talking. <laughs> Damn it, I knew she was gonna jump and I still was scared. Look at her mouth, look how creepy that is. She reminds me of the exorcist. <laughs> All right, then we got this little Tootsie Roll up here. What's her name? Bloodthirsty Betty. Look at her, she shakes and then she jumps at us. <laughs> See, she needs to be set up a little bit different so that her face jumps right up at your face. All right, and this guy, he just comes out. I'm haunting you, I think he said. Comes out the other side here too, hold on. Oh, okay. I don't think his head's supposed to go upside down like that, but he does. All right, here we go. Spirit Aquarium, swim with the fishes. Here we go. This is all set up like a haunted aquarium in here. Octopus. Piranha. There come the piranha. We got the great white shark here, who swims, yeah, there he is. Swims from that side to the other side and he crashes through over there. Uh, what's that? Angler fish, puffer fish. Here comes, yeah, there we go. That worked out pretty good in this one. A lot of times it's not timed right and, uh, and he'll like smash into here when you're halfway back there. But that worked pretty good. I didn't see any fog come out though. There's no fog come out of this one. It's all supposed to come out of these little bolts here, these little holes. Pretty cool though anyway. Okay, I think we've seen all of that. All of that, oh wait, look. There's a really good leather face mask here. Yes, I haven't seen that anywhere before. That looks really good, man. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 50 bones. Yeah, I haven't seen that one in other stores. That's a pretty good looking mask though. I ordered one on eBay one year for a Halloween party. I think I paid 90 bucks for it or something. There's another one up there. That one doesn't look as shiny. I wonder if that's a different version. 
Hmm. This guy's, I thought this was Teen Wolf for a minute. It's Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. What is this? Oh, Naruto. Somebody mentioned Naruto in one of my other spirit videos. They said, what about Naruto? Well, here it is. I, I've never watched this kind of stuff, but look at this mask. A Toby mask? I mean, it looks pretty cool, even though I don't know what it is. I know what the Naruto run is when we storm Area 51. <laughs> There's more scream. All right, let's look and see if we can find that Shazam costume. If somebody was asking me if they have uh, adult-sized Shazam costumes in here. And I thought that I saw them, but maybe not. Look at this one, though. Inflatable baby president. That's pretty funny. I saw the mask the other day, but I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> All right, we got the jumping spiders, brown and black. I love those. That's one of the first things that scared me when I walked in and started filming in one of these places. Guys, look at this. We got a purple Babies R Us cart and a Party City cart. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, guys. I think that's just about it. There's your old H.H. Uh, H. Greg in the background. I love that digital home theater thing back there. And thank you for shopping H.H. H. Greg. See you later, Mr. Toots. <laughs>
And here we go. This is, uh, I always forget the name of these things. Okay, this is Jack Straw. I love this guy. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, and this is one of my favorites here, too. The Jumping Spider. Here we go. I love that all of these are working how they're supposed to. That is so refreshing. All right, let's go through here. Hello, Skelebones. I don't remember what this guy's name is. Somebody told me the other day, uh, Iron Rod or something, I don't remember. Kind of creepy though, he's not an animatronic. All right, let's go on this side here. <laughs> here we go, I love this guy. He's so huge, creepy towering clown. He's like seven or eight feet tall. Look at his eyes, man. <laughs> and this is one that I have not seen anywhere yet. So I'm excited about this guy, the Arctic Dragon. Look at that. That's pretty cool. He must be uh, motion activated, yeah. Look at his blue eyes. That is awesome. Blue eyes. I like that guy. I have not seen him anywhere else. Hopefully we'll see some more that I haven't seen. All right, this guy here, I say this every time I film him. He just moves around a little bit. Look, it's like a body and a spider cocoon. And I wish, I so wish he was thrashing around like crazy. Like he was really trying to get out of there, but just doesn't happen. All right, we got the fish bones up here, the bag of bones. And we got this guy that's supposed to be moving here. Oh, the first one that's not working. I wonder why he's turned off. Maybe he finally died. <laughs> All right, and here's Crouchy. We've had trouble with him at other stores. Let's see if he works here. Yep, here we go. Oh, come on, where's the sound, man? Well, at least he's moving. Let's try it again. Well, we're not getting any sound from Crouchy, but at least he was moving this time. He laughs. He has like a real evil laugh. And he moves back and forth. Look at his scary, scary face. Look at how he just towers above. He's so enormous. All right, I love this one too, Cerebrus. I think that looks so awesome, but I've yet to find one that had the fog hooked up to him. I would love to find one with the fog hooked up where the fog is coming out of their mouth. That looks really cool online if you go online and watch the video on the Spirit uh, website. Oh, okay, here we go. I haven't seen a store that had both of these yet. And and a couple people keep asking me to keep an eye out for uh, night, night before, night, the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. I can't even say it. But there's an animated Jack Skellington and an animated uh, Sally, if you're looking for them. Come on down to Wadsworth. Oh, here's a Sally that's standing up over here. Sweet. Let's see what she does, if, if she does. Yeah. I mean, she's not doing a whole lot, but she is pretty cool. I kind of wish she would like turn her head or something too, but she's just not doing that. She sure is batting her eyes at me though. She must be in love. There's a bunch of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff that I haven't seen in other stores. I love the little zeros. Those are so cool. 
And look at this, we got an oogie boogie. <laughs> I don't think I've even seen the blankets in other stores. Those are pretty cool. Okay, let's go over here, see what we got. Levitator Girl, I haven't seen her anywhere else. I wonder if that's from, from one of the years before. Menacing Molly, she scared the crap out of me. Mummy Fogger hugs the clown. Looming Straw Man. Okay, I think I have seen him in other stores, just not set up. Oh wait, no, no, I guess not. Uh, cross his path, he'll stop you in his track. Try not to scream as he lunges towards you. No, I have not seen him anywhere else. And I noticed this one too. Wait, Sitting Scare Witch, I haven't seen her. Lost her way, I don't think I've seen her either. But look at this one. Pumpkin Patch Prowler, I have not seen this one either. I would love it if they had one of those set up. That would be awesome. We're gonna go over to the uh, Spirit Aquarium in a minute here. But there's a bunch of people going through right now, so let's look over here, see if they have any different kind of variety of uh, of these masks and things. Here's the Freddies. I pretty much see the same kind of Freddy stuff in every store. Sometimes they have uh, that third kind of glove, though, the more expensive one. Let's see, we got Halloween. I hate this mask. I say it every time I see it. I, it this is the worst one I've ever seen. And you know what? I kind of think this is my favorite. Halloween 2. Even I might even like that one better than Halloween 1. Here's our Child's Play stuff. Ghost Face. Friday the 13th. I don't know if I've seen this, uh, this combo here at other stores. The machete and the mask. That's pretty cool. So, oh wait, look at this shirt. Like a sugar skull shirt. I like that. Okay, wait a minute. Look at these, too. These are actually pretty cool. I was hoping that was like a hard shell mask, but it's rubber. It's still pretty cool, though. Victorian vampire. I, I do kind of like that. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it, but I like it. Okay, here's all our it stuff, Pennywise. I like this mask. And this one is okay, but honestly, I like this one better. We got the full suits here. I think they have pretty much the same it stuff in all the stores, except animatronic Pennywise, and some don't. Look at this. We put the laugh in slaughter, oh my god. Let's come on around here. We got the Harry Potter. Here's Joker stuff. I don't know if I've seen this mask anywhere. This is one where the the jaw moves with your jaw. I like those. Those are pretty cool. All right, let's see. People were asking me about Naruto. Look at this. We all need to get the Naruto wigs for when we storm Area 51. <laughs> Yoshi, oh my God. I don't think I've seen this one anywhere either. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We got the Super Mario stuff here and Luigi. Toy Story, my favorite Pizza Planet jacket. Southside Serpents, what the heck is that? Okay, apparently some kind of a greaser outfit. All right, let's see. I like this. I saw this in one of the other stores. I have never played Fortnite, but this actually looks pretty cool. All this stuff does. Look at this. A pick, pick squeak. <laughs> and what is this over here? Party animal. A giant... That's a, that's a keg? What the heck? Oh look, super troopers. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we got back here. We got the door knockers. These are pretty cool. Let's try this one. They say you are what you eat. I must be a big orange bowl of fingertips. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> I can smell the circus. The overpowering stench of screaming fear coming from all the kitties. <sighs> it's all so glorious. 
<laughs> okay, that was a little long. Let's try this one. Come in, put your feet up, and rest in pieces. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen this Feed the Clown game. Okay. Let's go on over here. Here's that Slimer that I loved from the other store. He's heavy and thick. Oh, look, he's got a butt. A Slimer butt. <laughs> and here's a uh, Stay Puffed. That's pretty cool. I love Ghostbusters. Oh my god. Guys, I have not seen these in any stores. It is a full-size Chucky. Holy crap, that is so cool. I wonder how much he is. I know they were like 500 bucks online. $90? Man. That is awesome. 90 bucks for a Chucky. Ooh, and look at this one. I haven't seen this in any of the stores either. Can't hear what he's saying, but that is awesome. Look at the shoes. He needs some flour on the bottom of the shoes. <laughs> of course, that's not from Bride of Chucky. How much is that? $79. That's pretty awesome. I've seen the Bride of Chucky in other stores, but not Chucky himself. That excites me right there. I love that. We got the Michael Myers stuff here. I like these. Candy and popcorn in the bowls. Pennywise pathway markers. Actually, I don't know if I've seen these in other stores. I think I have. Pretty cool. Here's the Pennywise uh, string lights. Ooh, they flash. Imagine having those strung all the way up your pathway to your front door. I'd be afraid to go up. Okay, we got Friday the 13th stuff here. We have seen these, but... I love Friday the 13th. Although, I haven't seen all the movies, believe it or not. And here's pathway markers. Oh no, these are, well, no these aren't pathways, these are just string lights. I love that. Of course we got the Freddies over here. I love that. And then we got the uh, the Freddy Pathway Markers, the big ones. They just stay lit, though, steady. I haven't seen this anywhere, I don't think. Springwood High School. This is like a fake book that you put stuff in and hide your money. And Oh, here's an inflatable Sam. I haven't seen him anywhere either. This is why I love going to these different stores, man. And look at this, Sam string lights. Oh, come on, work. Well, they don't work in the box, but those are pretty cool. I have not seen those anywhere. I have seen the Sam greeters, though. And I think this is only the second store where I've seen a clearance section. But look at this. This is the first store that I've seen a giant Slimer mask. <laughs> that thing is huge. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's just called Mask, but we all know it's Slimer. That is too funny. Storm Area 51. I haven't seen this one anywhere. A Misfits mask. That's actually pretty cool if Misfits weren't played out. Okay, let's make our way over here to the Spirit Aquarium and check out these animatronics over here. These are pretty much the same ones that are set up on the uh, on the Spirit Aquarium no matter where I go. I think I've been to one where there's been different ones, but let's uh, see if they work here. Yeah. Everybody has a good childhood memories of the party. Follow me. I promise we will give you some new memories you will never forget. His eyes are supposed to light up too. I think they're just burning out. 
and there's no mat to step on for this guy. Maybe he's dead too. But his mouth moves and his eyes move. He doesn't want any more blood on the floor. <laughs> I love these girls. You could totally take these and dress them up like the twins from, uh, what is that movie? Uh, the Shining. The Jack Nicholson movie. That would be cool. Winter is hot. Winter is cold. But we don't feel a thing. And we'll never get old. <laughs> okay. Abandon Annie. Please play with me. Okay, she is going to work. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I didn't realize there was a mat down there. But here we go. This is uh, Experimental Eddie. Well, he's supposed to thrash around and stuff, but he's cool when he works. And this chick here, she scares me every single time. Just step on the mat there and see what she does. the best. All right, here's this guy, but for some reason he's not making any sound. He peeks out each side of the grave here. You can sort of hear. Yeah, I don't see way, any way to actually turn up the volume on these things, and that's one of the problems with most of them, is the volume is so low. So you guys got to see those two little girls get scared by these. This one that pops right up. And then uh, this one over here, I don't know why she's not sitting back down, but that was too funny, man. Okay, here we go. Spirit Aquarium. Let's go on in. Swim with the fishes. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's the octopus. Piranha. Looks like the piranha cage is <laughs> kind of messed up. The great white is supposed to swing past here. And then come over here. Something's up with these monitors, though. They're not really working right. They keep freezing. Puffer fit. That's not a puffer fish. This one's not even on. Okay. Unfortunately, here we go. Okay, I'll hang out in here for a minute so you can see this. Unfortunately, like it seems like nothing in here is working right in the Spirit Aquarium because all these are freezing up, but the big, the big great white shark comes flying up here and like tries to bust out and the glass breaks. So I'm gonna hang out for a minute so you can see that at least. Okay, here comes the great white through here. Okay, there we go. We almost didn't catch it. Yeah, you'll have to go watch one of my other videos to see that one working better because everything in there seems to kind of be on the fritz, unfortunately, right now. Let's uh, see if there's anything else over here to see. This is all like kids' outfits and costumes. Um, and they're all pretty basic over here. We got these, these pops over here, pop vinyls, whatever you call them. I can never remember what they're called. Sanderson Sisters from Hocus Pocus, those are cool. Fortnite, just basic ones, nothing that's really Halloween-y. Cuddle Team Leader, Black Knight, Love Ranger, okay. All right, yeah, these are just little kids' costumes and stuff over here. I think we've seen these all. If you wanna see more of these, you can go check out some of my other videos. But uh, I don't think there's too many little kids watching these videos. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. Maybe next time I'll spend a lot more time in the little kids section. I have pointed these out though the last time because I love these. Where is that one? Oh, here we go. This is my favorite right here. Pumpkin bunting. Look at that. Look at that baby's little chubby cheeks. That is too funny. All right, guys, I think that we have seen pretty much everything in here. All the cool animatronics. Got scared a couple times, got to watch those girls get scared. That was hilarious. I love that. All right, well, 
That's it for the Wadsworth Spirit Halloween in the old Bed Bath & Beyond. One more look here. There it is. This has been one of my favorite stores. I love this. This was fun. Thank you, Wadsworth. I'm out. Oh, that's weird. He's not working. Oh, she <laughs> my God, he totally tricked me. All right, guys, today I have journeyed out to Wheeling, West Virginia, where there is an enormous spirit Halloween right here in this shopping center. This whole shopping center is absolutely gorgeous and just, it's huge. I can't believe the size of this place. Look at the style of this place. Look, we got a Bath and Body Works to close down over here, Label Scar, Bed Bath and Beyond, which is funny because I just filmed that uh, spirit in the Bed Bath and Beyond the other day out in uh, Wadsworth, I think it was. But yeah, here it is. And look, this is only the second place where I've seen the big spirit Halloween sign like that. So it makes me wonder if it's a permanent location. I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's go in and check it out. Hopefully we'll find a ton of different animatronics in here that we've not seen. I say that every time we walk into a spirit, but I'm excited. Okay, well first, right off the bat, I see Campfire Zombie, which I've not seen in any stores before. Alright, check it out, guys. It's actually smaller than what I expected, but there is some cool stuff set up in here, so... Let's go check it out. We got the Reaper's Wharf here, like we see in all the stores. Here's Bubba. Ooh. I, and I knew he was coming and he scared the crap out of me again. He always does. He needs to be in one of my thumbnails. I've not put him in yet. <laughs> Look at this, they got a brain in here. <laughs> um, and he must not be working because he's already sitting up and there's no pad to step on. He's usually looking down and then he like jerks his head up real fast and scares the crap out of you. Okay, we got this guy here, Rusty. Let's see how he's working. There we go, he's jerking around more than the other one that I saw. I like that. He's a lot louder, too. Some of the other ones aren't very loud. All right, we got Jack Straw here. <laughs> he, look at how huge he is. Like, he scares me every single time, no matter what. Here's one of my favorites, the jumping spider. Oh, what the heck? Wait. Oh, that's weird. He's not working. Oh, she <laughs> my God, he totally tricked me. Like when I stepped on the thing, he went down and he sat there and then he started jumping like he wasn't gonna work and then he jumped at me all of a sudden. Okay, here we go. I collect this now, unneeded flesh, to feed my army of demons so we can hunt for more. <laughs> I think he needs to be in one of my thumbnails, too. There must be different settings on these, because I noticed that this guy sometimes has a mat like these, you know, that you step on to activate them. But this one is set at motion activated. More evil than I could ever dream to be. I collect human flesh I think he's one of my favorites, and he's actually one that I think has worked in every single store I've been to. Usually you come across a couple that don't work, you know, like sitting a scarecrow over here. All right, let's move on. Let's go through here. We got this guy that I can never remember what his name is, Iron Rod or something. Somebody tell me what his name is, because I keep forgetting. And they usually have like the name plates or something, but they don't for him. <laughs> okay. 
Here we got Hugs the Clown. I like this guy. I love his purple hair. Let's see if he works. Hey there, friend. Welcome to the fun house. Come a little closer. We've got fun and games and <laughs> I love him. All right. Oh, look. They also have the Arctic Dragon. This is only the second place I've seen this guy. Arctic Dragon. Let's see if he works. There he goes. Yeah, he works awesome. Look at his eyes. Ice blue. <laughs> That's really cool. It's only the second place I've seen that one. All right, here's this guy, and they don't have a map for him. He's supposed to be moving all over the place and mumbling and grumbling. You know, I've said before that I wish that he would be thrashing around like this guy over here. I think that would make this prop so much better if he did. Speaking of this guy, go though, let's go see him. This is actually one of my favorites. <laughs> you don't have to activate him at all. He just is doing this all the time. I love how he's thrashing around. That's perfect. All right, and here's this guy here. Cerberus, I think his name is. He doesn't have a nameplate here, but let's see if he works. Yes. Good job, West Virginia. All your props are working except for one so far. I really want to see this one working with the fog coming out these guys' mouth, but somebody told me that uh, that they think the fog is like a fire hazard, like it would set off the fire alarms or something, so they can't actually have it going on in the store. Okay, that's it for this part, the SS Riptide. All right, guys, I said it the last time I was in one of these. I really, really like the Cobra Kai hat. And I think I'm gonna buy one. It's so cool. If I can get it off there. <laughs> okay. Look, they even have the costumes. That is sweet. I've not seen these costumes anywhere else either. I love that. If I wasn't a fat boy, I'd get, <laughs> I would get one of those. <laughs> That's cool. I've not seen the headbands anywhere else either. Just the shirts and the hats. I don't even think I've seen the socks anywhere. That's awesome. Yeah, that's such an awesome hat. I have to buy that. I would so regret it if I let this season go by and I couldn't get this hat then afterwards. Okay, let's go over here and see if they have anything else that's different as well as, I mean, as far as costumes because a lot of people have been telling me to keep an eye out and show more of the costumes. So, I don't know, let's look at this stuff first. Okay, we got, this is all Stranger Things. That is too funny, man. I don't think I've seen this one anywhere either. The only ones I've seen anywhere, in fact, all of these are totally different from what I've seen anywhere. I might have seen this wig. There's a barb wig. <laughs> I've not seen this one. Uh, let's see. I've not seen this one either. That is so cool. I love those. Scoops Ahoy. Oh my god. That's hilarious. There's a Dustin wig. Let's see if there's some on the front here. Yeah. I may have seen this one some... No, I don't think. That's a pretty good one, too. That's not one that you could just go find in a thrift store. But this one, I mean, come on. <laughs> okay. Let's keep on looking. Here we got witch stuff. This is all Freddy stuff here. A couple of different kinds of uh, Freddy gloves. The Freddy mask. Let's turn him around there. It's a pretty decent looking mask there. Seen that one pretty much any everywhere. Let's see. We got a Chucky here. Some Halloweens. I'm not even looking at that one because I hate it. Worst one I've seen. The socks. What's this here? Oh, I got a misplaced Harry Potter. 
I know, it wasn't hairy. Oh cool, here we go, oh sweet, yes. Adult Oogie Boogie costume. That's an inflatable one too, look at that. That is sweet. That is totally awesome. I love that. Okay, ooh, Jack Skellington outfit. What the? Billy Butcherson, oh my god, that's from Hocus Pocus. <laughs> People were asking me about Hocus Pocus too. And here's a whole bunch of Hocus Pocus ones. I have not seen these in any other store. They might have been there, but I just passed them up. But uh, but yeah, look at this, all the Sandersons. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> the wigs, look at this. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god. But all right, here's Sally's dress. Let's go back to the Nightmare Before Christmas for a minute. They got the Sally wig. Here's the whole outfit. Sorry about the reflection on there, guys. Jack Skellington gloves, Sally gloves, bow tie. Look, they got everything, man. This store is really decked out, and I mean, I just walked in the door. I haven't even begun. Look at this, you got Billy Butcherson's head. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is too funny. What's this one here? Oh, it's another Mary Sanderson wig. Oh, that's awesome. I'm having a good time in here. Okay, let's look at this one here. We got Scream. I love Scream. Child's Play. Uh, let's see. Here's our Jason stuff. Wish it was Friday. And what do we got over here? I looked at some of these the other day, too. I really like this. That's really cool. I just wish it was a, a hard one. Alright, let's keep on moving here, see what else we got. Okay, we got the Harry Potters, for anybody who wants to see them. Here they are. All kinds of Harry Potter stuff. Look, it looks like we got all the all the uh, robes. Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. The whole selection. We got a lot of uh, clown stuff here. Of course, you know what also is in the clown aisle. Pennywise! They always got a couple of different kinds of masks in these stores. That rubber one, that's just a plastic one. Squeeze that, it would crack though. And I don't see the other one that I really like. Um, here's the whole outfit. I think that one actually comes with the mask. Uh oh, somebody opened that one and tried it on, I guess. Hmm, okay. I think these are awesome too. They got all this Ghostbuster stuff here. Look, Ecto goggles. You got the whole deal here. The ghost trap, PKE meter. There's the costumes. <laughs> you even got Stay Puffed. <laughs> and here's a proton pack. One year, one of my kids dressed up as uh, Ghostbusters. We just made the whole costume at home. Actually turned out pretty good, but I mean, if you don't have that kind of time, it's cool that they got all of that stuff here. Uh, Overwatch. I don't know what Overwatch is, but I'm sure some of you guys watching do. Okay, now this is really cool. Second skin Spider-Man suit. That is awesome. My friend Leonard wanted me to show him some Spider-Man suits without just looking at it real quick. And this one would have to be my favorite, even though I haven't looked at a whole bunch of them, because this is a stretch suit. So this is the kind that you would actually put on and it would conform to your body. So as long as you had a good enough body, <laughs> then that would look good. I couldn't put that on. People would be like, what? Or here's just a hood, it looks like. Yeah. And here's a Deadpool hood. That's pretty good looking. Get back on there. There's a couple of Deadpool suits. Okay, there's Deadpool himself, and then this is the chick Deadpool. <laughs> okay, Let's see what else we got here. Superman. That's a pretty good looking suit right there, too. It really is. Okay, let's keep moving here. Okay, here's all the Naruto stuff. And somebody told me the other day it was too funny. 
in the comments they wrote, it's not Ru <laughs> it's not Naruto, it's Naruto. <laughs> and that's the only way that I could read it because they literally spelled it. It's not N-A-R-U-T-O, it's N-A-R-U-T-O. Here's a Batman suit. Not too shabby. That one looks pretty good. Inmate suits, Batgirl. Okay, I'm sorry. I've seen this guy modeling a couple of these things. He looks like Zac Efron. <laughs> God, guys, it's Pickle Rick. Look at this. This is an awesome one. Rick Sanchez. Morty. That's cool. Assassin's Creed. They got a ton of stuff in here. There's no way I could look at every single costume in here. This video would be four hours long. Crayola stuff, Super Mario. Got this Fortnite stuff down here. Now look at this. I haven't seen this in other stores. The Fortnite mask. That's pretty cool, actually. And I don't even play Fortnite. Hey guys, I almost missed these masks on the end here. More Fortnite masks. Tomato Head. <laughs> Deluxe Beef Boss Mask. I'd wear that just because I love cheeseburgers. There's a ton of other basic costumes over here. If there's any kind of costumes you guys want me to look out for, tell me and I will try my best to get those on film here. Because I'm going to be filming as many of these places as I possibly can. I love Halloween and these stores are only around for the season. So yeah, let me know what you want to see and I'll try to get it specifically in here. But let's go over here. I want to see. They got some uh, some animatronics that are like older ones. Like this one right here, the Area 31 capsule. Look at this one. This is from a couple years ago. Look at that alien. <laughs> okay, we got the Talking Pumpkin Door Knocker, Talking Reaper, Talking Clown, and I have not seen this one anywhere. The Talking Tree Face. Oh, please work. Hold on. Guys, I'm so bummed. The talking tree face door knocker does not work. There's two of them, and neither one of them are working. I mean, they probably work if you put in new batteries. I'm not trying to say their stuff doesn't work, but for the moment, they don't work, so we can't see how or what they do. I'm so disappointed. All right, well, let's keep moving on anyway. Here's a cryo chamber corpse. I don't think I've seen that one anywhere at all. He probably, he must just jump out of there and scare the crap out of you. I'm scared of all of these, man. <laughs> we got the ground breakers. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I think we've seen these in all the other stores. They probably want to kill me when I go around and turn these all on. <laughs> Man, people must have been trying these things out like crazy. There we go, Slimers. I don't know if I've seen this style before. I've seen the Slimer heads, but that's really cool. Okay, let's keep looking here. Vintage Clown Pathways. That's pretty cool. I used to have one of these, actually. You just push the button and see what it does. It actually crawls around the floor. <laughs> These are pretty cool. Zombie arm pathway markers. Ooh, look at that. I like that, that's really cool. I haven't seen this anywhere either. The animated zombie, animated spooky tree. <laughs> he must be motion activated. Okay, let's see, we got the jumping spiders here. I love those. What do we got? Ooh, more It stuff on the end here. Okay. Mummy Fogger, Looming Straw Man. Here's Friday the 13th. Those are cool. Freddy's. I love those. I love Freddy. String lights. Freddy Pillow, Freddy Throw, Flying Vulture, I haven't seen that before. Shotgun Blast Zombie, I haven't seen that. I have seen Menacing Molly, she scares the crap out of me every time. Look at this, guys, there's a whole bunch of them here I haven't seen. Okay, Tire Swing Zombie Boy. 
I have not seen him in any of these stores. That must be from years before. Hail, hay bale bopper, popper. Oh my God, I can't even talk. What is this? Fogging basement doors. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Roaming creepy bear. I haven't seen him either, but it looks like he's just basically on a Roomba rolling around. I've seen these. Sitting Scare Clown. He's scared me before. Arctic Dragon. Man's Possessed Friend. Oh, yeah, it's the Bits Bubba. Mommy Fogger, Sitting Scarecrow. Okay, let's see. Sitting Scare Witch. And Hanging Hell Fiend. <laughs> let's look at their clearance section a minute because I, this is the third store I've seen a clearance section in. I'm just curious to what is here. <laughs> A Robin costume. Okay, let's see. Anything else interesting there? Not really. All right, somebody was telling me to keep an eye out for steampunk, and that's not really steampunk, but I know they have it in these stores, so let me go look real quick here. Hold on now. Yes, here we go, guys. Here is a ton of steampunk stuff here. Go kind of slow so you can see it. These are pretty cool, actually. Never really got into ste steampunk, but I appreciate how creative it is. Look at the pocket watch. That's cool. Kind of a trench coat looking thing. Look at his hat. <laughs> Looks like that is the extent of their steampunk stuff right there. I mean, not just the hat, but all this stuff you see up here. And there's a pretty good selection. I mean, I don't know how many people are into steampunk, but look at that mask. Okay, let's look at some of these masks over here. Always got to look at the Michael. Oh my God, that is that one again. I hate it. The Halloween 2 isn't too bad. This is the one from last year. That's actually a pretty good looking mask. Uh, let's see here. Anything we haven't seen in masks? I think I've seen most of these, but something usually pops out that I haven't seen. Ooh. Look at that one. That looks, yeah. It's even called Vintage Clown Mask. I remember my brother having a clown mask like that when he was a little kid. And, uh, and it looked a lot like that. Okay, let's see. Here's our Silent Stalker. I mentioned this the other day because some of these are called Silent Stalker and in the exact same mask is actually labeled as, uh, as Slender Man. So I don't know if there's like a copyright issue or whatever. Maybe when the movie about Slender Man came out, they had to change it. I don't know, copyrights are a weird thing. Oh my God, <laughs> an ele elephant mask. That is too funny. <laughs> and a cow friend. What? Look at this, a zombie horse. <laughs> it's too funny. <laughs> Werewolf animation. I like the animation masks where their mouth moves with yours. Those are always pretty cool. Look at the nun down here. It's called Nun For You. <laughs> oh my God. All right, yeah, and look at this. This looks like a... Uh, the mask from Halloween 3. I know there's not a lot of Halloween 3 fans, um, but I remember seeing it when I was a little kid. And even though, yes, the acting kind of sucks, the movie scared the crap out of me, man. Okay, we got the haunted aquarium thing here. Let's, uh, let's check these out and see if these work. This guy is usually motion activated. Oh, there he goes. Everybody has good childhood memories of the party. Follow me. I promise we will give you some new memories you will never forget. Yeah, some of these are set up. <laughs> there he goes. Some of these are set up to be motion activated, and some of them you have to actually step on the mat here. Let's see if this one's going. No, I guess not. His eyes and mouth are supposed to move. And then we got the twin chicky chicks here. <laughs> I think they're creepier when their hair is hanging in their face. Daddy said we have to play outside. He doesn't want to 
What is this one called again? Oh, Abandoned Annie. Apparently she's not turned on either. Experimental Eddie. Here we go. He's not too bad. He's just one of those that if you walk through a haunted house, you'd be like, okay, whatever, what's next? Oh, they don't have demonic Dahlia set up over here. I haven't seen her anywhere in here. I wonder if she sold out. She's usually set up right on the end here and scares the crap out of me. Okay, guys, we're going through the Spirit Aquarium in just a minute, but look, we got some more uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff here. People ask me about that all the time. I love the little Zero dogs. That is too funny. And look, he's on, a, he's on like a stick. So I think you can carry him around. <laughs> that is too funny. Zero. Boogie boogie. Got some plush here. Okay, let's move over here. We got a Sally also. Yep, hi Sally. Okay, let's go on through the Spirit Aquarium here. This guy's not working. Here we go. Okay. We got a puffer fish. Ooh, he exploded. I hear the shark coming. He's gonna blast. Hold on. Let's get down here. I think it's right here. <laughs> yeah, we got in here just in time for that one. Okay, here's our octopus though. I think something evil happens with each one of these. Like this one right here, watch. Just gonna, what the? Okay, this is the piranha thing here. And usually that guy swims by and then he gets killed by the piranhas. Let's see if they get him. There we go. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what happens down here with the puffer fish though. Well, he puffed. Maybe that's all he does. There goes the shark again. When you hear the music, you know he's coming over here. They tricked us with the music. Oh well, whatever, we saw it the first time. In the other ones, uh, fog comes out these little holes. And I think I've only been in one where that's worked perfectly the way it's supposed to. The big shark is supposed to smash up here, he breaks the glass, and then fog blows out here. And it, uh, you know, just like it really hit. It's really cool. All right, get out of here. Okay, so we got some more costumes here. I think these are all kids' costumes, though, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, another clearance section. <laughs> I've never seen two clearance sections in one of these stores, but this is cool. Adventure Time Finn costume. <laughs> Bubble, uh, Princess Bubblegum. Pretty cool. That's a ladybug suit. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's kind of a mix between a ladybug and uh, what the heck is that girl's name? Uh, Hit Girl. That's what it made, reminded me of. That's the closest to a kick-ass costume I've seen in any of these stores ever. I don't think I've ever seen a kick-ass costume offered anywhere. Okay, so people were asking me about uh, kids' costumes that weren't gory, and they do have tons of them. Here's Shimmer and Shine, Minnie Mouse, all kinds of Disney stuff. Harry Potter, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh look, they even have Ninja Turtles. All kinds of, oh crap, Jojo Siwa, heck no. <laughs> Inside Out, all kinds of stuff. Crayola, Shopkins. Here they got all kinds of uh, Toy Story 4 costumes and stuff. PJ Masks, Paw Patrol. I know my granddaughter loves Paw Patrol. Ooh, Sesame Street. All kinds of stuff for little kids that is nowhere near being gory. And somebody else asked me about, I think it was a cat costume for a baby, but I, and I don't see any cats, but I do see like the lion. Um, we got a tiger. That's probably the closest to a cat as far as in these. Hold on, let's look over here. Um, superheroes. I don't see any cat outfits for a little kid. Look at this one though, this was actually pretty cute. A little purple monster. 
<laughs> I like that. I like all of these. This is like the greatest collection of, of little kids' uh, costumes I've ever seen. They're all so cute. Look at the elephant. That's funny. Oh, and somebody else was asking me about the Hocus Pocus stuff. They have this basic collection in all the spirit stores. A lot of Hocus Pocus stuff here. And then, of course, when we first came in, we were looking at the, um, the costumes over there. You guys saw all the, the uh, Hocus Pocus costumes. Those were really cool. I don't think I'd seen those in any other stores at all. Here's back to the Nightmare Before Christmas. I think that is pretty much it, guys. Wait, look at this. Fortnite Loot Llama. That thing just looks cool. <laughs> oh my god. And if you were wondering, this store used to be a Michael's. You know, all these spirit stores, they move into uh, former locations of other stores. And this one, I didn't know what it was from the outside, but it's, it was a Michael's. So if you look past the spirit stuff here, you can see the stripes on the walls and that. That might kind of give it away. When I was in the H.H. Gregg, they still had all the signs up from H.H. Gregg. It even said, thank you for shopping at H.H. Gregg. That was one of my favorites. Oh my god, this is so cool. Hocus Pocus pencil toppers. That is so awesome. <laughs> I have to watch Hocus Pocus when I get home now. Guys, I'm going to grab my uh, Cobra Kai hat here and hit the road. I'll probably be wearing that the next time I make a video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell so you get the notifications. I'm going to be making Halloween videos all month long. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace. right over top of me and he is so scary just towering in my face. Alright guys, today I am out in an area that is a little bit confusing of where we're actually at. Uh, I know Fairlawn is in this area and I believe this right here is Copley and we are at a Spirit Halloween that is in an old Lifeway Christian store. Ooh, I like the looks of it already. It's a pretty good looking store. Nice and clean. All right, awesome. We got a whole ton of these animatronics right here. Hold on. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we got the SS Minnow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, we got the haunted ship here. Looks like we got pretty much the same animatronics as the other places, but let's go try them all out because I love these things. And here's one of my favorites, the jumping spider. Yes. I love how this one and the last one, like they back up first, like they're getting prepared to jump at you. All right. Ooh. Let's check this guy out. He's usually set up like uh, motion detected. Yeah, this guy, every place that I've been, he's usually been set up with uh, like for the motion detector. And you can see right there on his nose, there's the motion detector. That is too funny. <laughs> All right, let's go see Crouchy here. Look at, oh my God, the ceiling is so low that he has to be bent way over like that. I bet he's on motion detection though. Oh, yes he is, look. <laughs> Guys, it looks totally different when you're standing here, but look, he, yeah, he's right over top of me and he is so scary, just towering in my face. He's so creepy and huge. Look at just the size of his feet. That's my hand against his foot. That's absolutely enormous. Okay, we got the tortured torso here, and I've told you guys before, this was one of my favorites. Because he's actually thrashing around like he's being tortured. He's usually a lot louder, and some of them they thrash, thrash around a lot more. Okay, Crouchy, I get it. 
Okay, let's make our way around the Riptide. We got this guy over here. Hmm, he's not moving. I wonder if he's... Oh, there he goes. I still do wish he would thrash around like uh, like this guy over here. It would look so much cooler. Okay, and we got Hugs the Clown. This is one of my favorites. Ooh. Welcome to the fun house. Come a little closer. <laughs> He's one of my favorites in the whole store. I love how he lunges at you and his yellow eyes. All right, let's go on through here. I still can't remember this guy's name. <laughs> we gotta look at all these here. Look at this whole stack of awesomeness here. Okay, people always tell me to keep an eye out for both of these, Jack Skellington and Sally. Both life-size animatronics. They got them both here right now. And they got several of them. Look at this, Chucky the Roaming Doll. This is the one I think that, um, yeah. It's like he's on a, a Roomba, and he just roams around, probably very slowly. Roaming Spider, I haven't seen him anywhere before. Let's see here, we got the Groundbreakers, Undead Groundbreakers, Sitting Scarecrow, one of my favorites. Arctic Dragon, I've only seen him set up in maybe two other stores. Mr. Toots, that people love. To me, he moves too slow, but he's still creepy. Cerberus, he's awesome. I still want to see him going with some fog coming out. Creepy Towering Clown, the Mummy Fogger. Let's see what else they got over here. Ooh, look guys, I haven't seen this one. Fenced in high voltage zombie. I bet he shakes like crazy in there. That's cool, I would love to see that one in action. I saw this at one other store, but I've never seen it in action either. He probably pops out of there real fast. Gonna have to look these up online. Flying Vulture? I don't think I've seen that one either. Dark Jester on a Swing? I've not seen that one. They got a lot of good ones here. Zombie Sitting Scarecrow. Empty Soul Girl on a Swing. I think I've seen her in other stores. What's this? Oh, Feed the Clown Game. They got a Rusty down there. Here's a Sam. The Posable Dummies. Ghostly Tricycle. I think I've only seen that in one other store. We got Bubba. Headless Help. Undead Groundbreaker. Decaying Zombie Groundbreaker. And a giant Crouchy. Man, is he huge. Okay, let's go over here and look at these other animatronics over here on the, uh, the Haunted Aquarium. And then we'll go look at some costumes, because people have been telling me to keep an eye out for a lot of costumes, and this place is decked out. Strangely, this one looks like it might be a little smaller than the other ones I've seen. It's probably not. It's probably just that this store is kind of big in here. But let's look at these guys. Here he goes. I like when his eyes light up yellow like that. Here we go. Talk to me, girls. There we go. <laughs> We're not talking. Maybe the volume is turned down. There's some of my favorites. Oh, here we go. There's some of my favorites. You could dress them up like the twins from uh, The Shining, and that would be awesome. Put it down at the end of a hallway in a hotel. Now, strangely, this one is going ballistic over here. This is the one that I always have a hard time finding one that works very good. <laughs> I like her. She's really loud this time, too. All right, here we go. Experimental Eddie. Yes. Look at his face. He's working really good. Some of them don't move that well, but he's working really good. Uh-oh. Here's this little girl that scares the crap out of me. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go. Ooh, she was slower than the rest, but she's still creepy looking. Look at her eyes. Yeah, she didn't pop up as fast as some of the other ones, but she is so creepy. And I think they have her set up right, actually. A lot of times they have them, like, hanging up here. And, uh, and she still scares the crap out of me, but here's this guy. I still can't figure him out. I don't know if the head is actually supposed to go upside down like that, or if it gets stuck. Okay. All right, here we go. Spirit Aquarium. I love their setups in here. They always have the most awesome stuff. Look at how the light is going in the lighthouse with the broken glass. Is this? Yeah, this is the entrance. Here we go. Let's check this out. Okay. Let's watch each one of these individually. This is an octopus here. Well, <laughs> where's the octopus? We got a stingray and a school of fish. Come on, octopus, where are you? I hear something. Oh, there he goes. Yes. Okay, then this one over here is the piranha. Look at all the bones down here. And there's a school of piranha. Watch this. Ah! <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the angler fish. That's the one that has a little light. There we go. There he is. I don't know if I know what he does. I don't know if I've ever watched long enough to see. Maybe nothing. I guess he just swims because I don't see him doing anything crazy. And this is our puffer fish over here. Look at the bones. I love how there's bones down there. Oh, crap. We just missed the action behind me, guys. But I will hang out for a minute and show you. Okay, right over here. This is where we missed the action. This is where the shark comes blasting out of the screen. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's not as loud in this one really really loud and when he hits the glass it just shakes the place um, you'll have to watch in some of my other spirit videos where the fog comes out around there when he hits okay let's go check out the rest of the store okay yes now let's go check out some of these uh, costumes and maybe there will even be some more stacks of the animatronics because we've got a whole bunch of the brown jumping spiders here and here's black ones. Those are some of my favorites in the whole place. Look guys, right in front of me, this is possibly my favorite costume this year. Boogie Boogie Inflatable. Okay, let's go back over to the front of the store here. We'll start over there and work our way around with these costumes, see if we see anything different than we've seen in any other stores. This is some of my favorite stuff in these stores. And I think this is only the second one I've seen these in. The Hocus Pocus costumes. Here's a Billy Butcherson costume. I don't think I saw that one anywhere else either. And then they have the mask right over here. And here's the Billy Butcherson head. <laughs> Alright, somebody asked me how much it was. $39.99 for a Billy Butcherson head. That's not too shabby. It's pretty awesome actually. They got the broom over here, wigs for everybody. Ooh, little accessories, the choker necklace. <laughs> Winifred's teeth, I don't think I saw those in the other stores. Let's see, ooh, Binks, Binks kit, what the heck? And then these are like alternate costumes here. We got the vampire stuff over here. I don't think anybody's asked me about vampires, though. Here's our usual Freddy stuff. I love Freddy. Here's Stranger Things. People ask me to keep an eye out for those. These gotta be some of my favorites. The Scoops Ahoy uniforms. Those are so corny and hilarious. All right, let's see. Ooh, here's the Scoops Ahoy hat. 
I don't think I saw the hat in any other stores. <laughs> $16.99. Ooh, and it's got name tags. It comes with both name tags in case you want to be one or the other or both. Wouldn't that be funny if you, like, halved the costume and you were half her and half him? All right, here's some more Stranger Things stuff. Dustin wig. Eleven outfit. That's one of my favorites right there. I love those styles. Eleven's battle kit. And the hopper shirt. Let's see. Okay, then we move on to Friday the 13th. Chucky over here. Scream. People were asking me about Scream outfits. That's the costume and the mask. And here's just the mask. Here's the awesome Halloween safety shirt. If they had my size, I would buy that right now. Extra large is the biggest one they have, though. Before Christmas, here's a Jack Skellington. Sorry about the shine on there. Here's a Sally. The wig is included. Gloves, bow ties. Here's the kids. Lots of stuff for uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, let's see. Here's some basic things. Poncho spiderweb and a poncho pumpkin. I don't think I've seen those. Here's a ghost poncho. That's pretty funny. Let's summon demons. <laughs> I like that shirt too. I wouldn't wear that, but okay. Somebody else was asking me about this one too. A werewolf animation mask where you put it on in his, uh, his jaw. I can't even do it. Look, there you go. Kind of his jaw moves with your own mouth. I better look how much because I'm going to get asked. $39.99. That's a pretty good looking mask for that price actually, guys. Emperor of Evil, Fade In Out Phantom. Ooh, the eyes light up like a Jawa. <laughs> Dark Wizard. And here's all your clown stuff. Hugs, I love that one. And of course we got uh, the hammers, other outfits up here. And here's all the It stuff. And I love how they give you the variety where you can get the old one or the new one. That's cool. Okay, I don't think anybody's asked me about Ghostbusters, but just to show you, they have tons of awesome Ghostbusters stuff. But people were asking me about stuff like this, the video game stuff, Overwatch. Try not to move too fast, guys, because I know you want to see it. But this is what we got here. I don't really know what a lot of this stuff is personally, but if you're looking for it, you'll recognize it. And here we got a lot of uh, superhero stuff. They have a lot of superhero stuff in this store. Wolverine claws. That's pretty cool. What's this one here? Oh, that's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Harry Potter. All kinds of Harry Potter stuff. What I should do is go live in one of these stores and just let you guys tell me what you want me to find. And I can go around and look for all of it while I'm in the store. That would be a nice three-hour live stream. <laughs> Arkham Asylum. Okay, yeah. Here's a Harley Quinn. Somebody was asking me about that. Lots of Suicide Squad stuff. They're, they even got the shorts. Holy crap. Okay, Batman. Okay, people were asking me about this stuff too. My Hero Academia. There's a couple of them for you. Bioshock. Some hats. Bioshock. Splicer hook. Fallout. Nuka Cola gun. Rick and Morty. And we got Assassin's Creed. Somebody was asking me about this too. Guys, if you have not seen what you're looking for in my videos, just let me know and I'll keep an eye out or go back through and watch the whole video from beginning to end because some of these things are 30, 40 minutes long. Here's Dragon Balls. Dragon Ball Z, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> but there's some costumes. I know people were looking for these. Dragon Balls. 
Toy Story 4. Here's, is this the Riverdale stuff? No, that's Archie. Okay, I think, what the heck? See, I don't know. People were telling me to look for Riverdale. Yeah, it is. Southside Serpents. So they do have some Riverdale stuff. Toy Story 4. I totally love this shirt. Oh, here's a Buzz Lightyear helmet. And there's more Buzz Lightyear uh, costumes. Another one people were looking for. Guys, I'm telling you, they have everything in these stores. Borderlands. Super Mario. Somebody was asking me about Scooby. Look, they even have the Scooby outfit. I've not seen that in the other stores. Fortnite was the big one people were asking me about. And there's the tomato head beef boss, and here's the tomato head outfit. Crack shot. Looks like they got more Fortnite stuff down here. Pickaxe, boogie bombs. <laughs> Impulse grenades. Here's some masks, more costumes. Lots of Fortnite stuff, guys. I like that one. That reminds me of Karate Kid. Clinger grenade, llama bell, cuddle team leader mask. All kinds of stuff. It seems like each one of these stores that I go in, they have more and more. So I think that they're constantly getting different stuff and putting more stuff out on the floor. Oh look, Cat in the Hat. I haven't seen that anywhere either. <laughs> That's a pretty cool one. <laughs> thing one and thing two. SWAT. Girls, I don't see any guys SWAT uniforms. Oh, here we go. SWAT work shirt, vest, trench knife. Look, they even got fake tattoos. I like the SWAT hat. That's cool. Inmates, burglars, cops, police hat, sergeant hat, I think that's what that is, handcuffs, ooh, there's the aviators, all kinds of stuff, oh my god, look, they even got a money bag for the burglar, <laughs> that's too funny, doctors, lab coats, flappers, <laughs> here's a gangster suit, a feather boa for the flapper, that's funny. Pirates here, high seas buccaneer. <laughs> Those are cool. I love pirate stuff. Lady Robin Hood. I don't spend enough time showing you guys the girl costumes. Sorry about that. I'm always just running through the guy stuff. Empress Cape, Warrior Queen, Storybook Queen. This is a pretty cool Robin Hood costume for a girl. Witch Doctor Staff. Snake. Ooh, look, a shrunken head. That is hilarious. I love that. Hippie outfits. <laughs> Here's all your steampunk. Here's astronaut outfits. I wonder if this is a NASA hat. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh my god, this is one I have not seen. A skeleton turtle. Look, even the shell is supposed to be bone. <laughs> Here's the creepy babies. I haven't seen this one. Eating the bugs, that's totally what a baby would do, too. It doesn't even have to be a zombie. Just a regular baby eating bugs. Here we got some awesome Chucky stuff. Oh, yes. I've only seen these in a couple stores. Two different kinds of Chuckies here. Man, guys, this place is just absolutely full of stuff. Unicorn Union suit. Here's black velvet angel wings. All kinds of different wings in there. Tons and tons of costumes in this store. Here's inflatable costumes. Donnie the Dino. <laughs> I love that one. And this one is too funny. The inflatable unicorn. This is an adult costume too, guys. Inflatable teddy bear. I haven't seen that one before. My son actually had this one last year. Inflatable bull rider. You put your legs through there and it looks like you're riding the bull. <laughs> Same thing with the ostrich. 
<laughs> I must not have spent enough time looking at these costumes in other stores, guys, because I'm having a good time finding these things. A beef taco. That's totally something I would wear. Pineapple, peanut butter, and jelly for couples. That's pretty cool. Oh, here's another couples one. Soap and a loofah. <laughs> Teddy bear piggyback. A pickle. A feeling thorny cactus. Sky oh my, God. I'm not even saying that one. <laughs> Banana, beer, hot dog with the works. We got elven ears. We got all our pathway lights here. Lanterns, skeletal remains. Look at this, a living tree. You put that on your tree and it actually looks like part of it. Hooks and chains. More of these guys here. Look at this head. Oh my god, it's a double face. <laughs> That's pretty creepy. I don't think I've seen that anywhere else. Alright, here's this guy we always see at the Spirit Aquarium. I gotta see what his name is. Iron Rod. That's what I thought it was. Got an alien head. And then we got the, look, the Slimer with the butt. <laughs> they have a couple of different rooms in here, man. This place just keeps going and going. Look, we got all these hats in here. A lot more things back here, and tons of masks. Let's see if there's any masks that I haven't seen anywhere else. I love the Michael Myers. I'm so tempted to buy one of these. I'm tempted to buy everything in here. <laughs> I don't know how well these things work, but if you were gonna dress up like Ghostface from Scream, that might be something cool to get. Somebody asked me about a pig mask. This isn't the best one I've ever seen, but I mean, it is a pig mask. This is kind of cool, an android mask. Okay, here's some more Fortnite. This looks like these are for kids. Here's some more Fortnite stuff. <laughs> Look at that bite mark. I need to get into Fortnite. This stuff just looks way too cool. What am I missing? Here's a beef boss mask. I could go for a beef burger right now. I'm a hungry boy. Omega. Skull Trooper. There's Omega. DJ Yonder. I don't know what you guys are looking for exactly, but there's a lot of Fortnite stuff here for adults and kids, so. And this one's in Copley, Ohio. I don't think that, uh, that I've seen this much at other stores. Could be wrong, though. Like I said, they might be getting new shipments in all the time. Here's another tomato head costume. This is all kids stuff, youth sizes. So yeah, guys, they got a ton of stuff. Look at a, a patty whacker. <laughs> Candy axe. Fortnite looks so cool. It looks like most of the stuff they have in both adult and kids sizes. It might be a little bit different. Look at this inflatable jetpack. I like that. Your legs are actually in there, and it looks like you're jetpacking away. <laughs> Here's more Dragon Ball. Here's more of the word I can't pronounce. Naruto, Naruto, Naratu. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> I love watching the comments, people trying to tell me how to pronounce stuff that I'm messing up. Here's some Minecraft, some Halo. Here's some more Spider-Man. Guys, they just have all kinds of stuff for both adults and kids. This video would be so long if I would just continue to show each and every single thing in here. Looks like we got some Harley Quinn stuff for little girls. Younger girls, I guess I should say. Incredibles. Descendants. Zombie cheerleaders. And then they have this section for little, little kids, like babies. And somebody asked me the other day to keep an eye out for a bee costume. And I did find a bee costume, but honestly, guys, I don't remember which video it's in. So if you've told me to keep an eye out for some kind of costume, you're going to have to go back and just watch all my spirit videos, all my Halloween videos, because I've been stopping everywhere. Walmart, Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, just every place filming all kinds of Halloween stuff. And if you told me to look for it, I'm trying to do that, so. All right, guys, I think that is it for this store here at the moment. We obviously didn't film everything. There is tons of stuff in here. 
there's just no way. It'd be like a five hour video if I just filmed each and everything. You'll just have to go down to your local spirit and check it out. But of course, keep coming back to watch my videos because there's gonna be tons of them all throughout October. I'll see you guys later, peace. All right guys, check it out. Today we are in Sainsville, Ohio, going to another Spirit Halloween. I honestly don't know what this place was. I'm gonna have to ask them in there, but it's a huge place. Hopefully we'll find some awesome animatronics we've not seen anywhere else, as well as some other awesome stuff. Oh my God, guys, this place is packed today. Ooh, and look what's right up front, Pennywise. Holy crap. Let's hope he works right. <laughs> okay guys, it looks like we got something that was here and is not anymore. But we do have this guy, Rusty. Here you go. He's, hmm. Well, he's not working as he should, but he's still cool. <laughs> okay. They need to replace that one. All right, here we go. Look at this, I see the clown that I haven't seen before. But here is our Pennywise. I can't believe I bought one of these and he's standing in my living room right now. Look at that picture right there. <laughs> that is totally going on the, uh, the thumbnail. All right, let's do this. Oh, well, his mouth isn't moving, but I... Okay, oh, there he goes. <laughs> his mouth is... Okay, it's moving now just a little bit. But his, his mouth is supposed to move, and he talks for a minute, and then he jumps up and scares the living crap out of us. Man, just from right here, I can see that this place is absolutely enormous. Look at that. I hope it goes all the way back there, and it is just stocked. All right, let's check out this guy right here. I don't know what his name is. He Well, he's not sitting scarecrow, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I saw him the other day in a box at one of the other stores, so look, you're each in here. I expected him to jump. Okay, here we go. <laughs> he totally made me jump. Look at that face. <laughs> yeah, these are either set up as a motion activated thing where if you reach in there, he'll jump, or they have the touchpad there. So this one obviously has the touchpad. Let's do that again. <laughs> I love the way this store is set up. And this is one of the big boats. Like, if you go into the smaller stores, some of them have the smaller boats, but this is the full-size deal. All right, let's check out the creepy towering clown. <laughs> I love these things. I cannot see them enough, man. And it's awesome when there's a ton of people in here and they all got these things going at once. Here we go. Oh. Once I take your soul, you think you're special because you're human. You're just... Okay, he's kind of glitchy right now, but he's a pretty cool prop anyways. One of my favorites, actually, because he's so enormous. Here's Crouchy. Crouchy's going nuts on us over here. I still love, I absolutely love the size of his hands. Look how huge they are. All right, they got this guy all packed up here. Maybe they sold him or maybe, I don't know, something else. Here we got, oh, he's backwards. That's kind of strange. Let's go around the other side and see him. There he is. Okay. And we got the cocoon corpse, and I say it every time, I wish he would thrash around like that guy does. You could actually get this guy 
and cocoon him, and he would be just like this. <laughs> oh, there's the dragon again. I think this is the third place I've seen him. Oh, come on, he's not working. All right, wait. Oh, there we go, I was stepping on the wrong one. Ice blue eyes. I love how you can hear his wings blowing. Flapping in the wind. Okay, and then we got this chick here, which I don't know if she does anything. I don't think so. I think I've seen her ah, in a couple of other stores and she doesn't do anything. Iron rod. I love the uh, the shark bones here. That's one that we missed over here, the jumping spider. Let's give it a minute to back right up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I love that thing. Although I think I like the big white furry spider at Halloween City better. I know that's a bad word in this store, but all right, let's look around here a little bit. In fact, let's go see if we can find more animatronics. Or the pile of them at the... Ah, right there in the middle. Yes. Right here we got the, the brown jumping spiders. Black jumping spiders. Let's see here. Anything we haven't seen anywhere else. We got the Arctic Dragon. Small poseable dummy, dummy drop. And a dummy prop. The dummy drop. Zombie hands. Sinister spirit doll. The collector. I don't know that I've actually seen him um, packaged and ready to roll in the other stores. He must sell out pretty quick. Skeletal remains. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I see. The, the brain lights up. Fogging skull pile. There's Mr. Toots. Experimental Eddie. I think that's the first time I've seen him in a box ready to be sold. Creepy Crimson Girl. Pose and Stay Skeleton. Mummy Fogger. There's the Cocooned Corpse. Creepy Towering Clown. They don't have any Pennywises, at least in this pile. Pennywise is selling out fast. That's exactly why I bought mine immediately when I saw him. Wait, this is cool. A handsaw. It'd be even cooler if there was a thing inside here that you could use to make it spin. Pretty cool. Okay, let's see. I don't think I've seen this setup anywhere. I have seen the nurses and the doctors, but oh well, I want to find other props. <laughs> Here's the, uh, the haunted, whatever you call it over there, the haunted aquarium. I ought to know what this thing's called by now. Been in how many of these things. Let's check this guy out, see if he works. Sort of. Mouth is supposed to be moving. I think the eyes are supposed to light up. Here's a creepy clown. Come on. Man, he still looks creepy, but he's not working. Here's our girls. Here we go. No talkie? Oh, come on. All right, I'm getting disappointed here, guys. Here's, here we go. Abandon Annie. And then we got Experimental Eddie already going nuts over here. <laughs> I like how it's darker in this store so you can see this stuff lit up better. That looks a lot creepier than uh, in other stores where it's really lit up. Okay, Bloodthirsty Betty. Here we go. I love this one. Watch this. <laughs> Look at her face. 
I love those scary eyes. Oh look guys, I didn't even realize, this is what we're in right now, former MC Sports. The other MC Sports one I did has over a million views. <laughs> Team Sports, look at this, there's still uh, labels up here. Team Sports, Fitness back there, um, Youth over here. That's pretty cool, I didn't even notice that. And I see Winter Sports over there too. Oh well, now we know what we're in, MC Sports. Yeah, look how much better this looks with the light going, that it's kind of dark in here. That's pretty cool. All right, we got the Spirit Aquarium. We're gonna go in and swim with the fishes. Okay, let's do this. Okay, all right, yes, it looks like everything's working good in here. There's our shark. Let's come down here and see if he's coming to get us. Not yet. Yes! <laughs> we almost missed it, guys, and look. You can see there's fog in this one. Not a lot of them have the fog going, but this one does. Okay, let's take the walk through. We got the octopus. We got the piranhas. Watch. Ah! <laughs> the angler fish, and I still don't know what he does. All I've ever seen the angler fish do is just swim back and forth. If he's supposed to do something, tell me, guys, because I have not seen him do anything, and I've been in, what, like 10 spirit stores? And then we got the puffer fish. I think all I've ever seen him do is just puff. That just happened behind me. <laughs> all right, let's head out of here. Okay. Oh, we're back on the other side with all these props. This place is pretty decked out. It's a pretty good looking store. The only problem is that half of the animatronics aren't working right. Okay, here's another clearance section. I'm seeing these in more of these stores. Look at this, a buzzed bee. <laughs> That's actually a pretty cool outfit. Some people have been asking me to find bee outfits and I've only seen maybe two. And that's number two. Stalker. That's actually supposed to be like uh, Slender Man. Look at this. Double Dares are in the clearance section. Look, that comes with the helmet and everything. That is awesome. Oh, look, they have the uh, anonymous mask. I don't think I've seen those in other stores. I would have recognized that. How much is that? $10, not too shabby. Cool. I'm not gonna get too deep in the costumes in this one, because I did in the last video, and uh, I will in some other ones, but there's a lot of people here. I don't want to get in their way while I'm filming, but I do want to look around and see if there's anything else that I haven't really seen in other stores. Sometimes there's some pretty cool stuff. I have seen this scarecrow, but I didn't stop to look at him. Ooh, yellow eyes. Pretty creepy. Huge heads panda mask. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that anywhere else. It's Fortnite blankets. I've not seen these anywhere else. Llama fleece. Look guys, somebody was asking me about a Colonel Sanders costume and they definitely have it. 60 bucks, that is pretty sweet. <laughs> Loaded with Fortnite stuff. People always ask me like two seconds into these videos, is there any Fortnite? Watch the videos and you'll see them because there's tons of it, guys. Go to the Spirit website. Despicable Me shades, that's pretty cool. I dressed up like a minion one year and I had to make these. That's pretty cool. Look, they got a whole bunch of the Slimers with butts. <laughs> that is too funny. Ooh, this is creepy. Put this on somebody's window and scare the living hell out of them. <laughs> it's just a piece of plastic and it has like a, a suction cup. So you suction it and it hangs on their window outside looking in. That is creepy. That would scare the living crap out of me if I saw it. Here's a chainsaw. Somebody was telling me to keep an eye out for that. Oh, here we go. 
It's a That's pretty cool, the chain goes around and everything. I don't know how much it is though, I don't see a price. There you go, $49.99 for a chainsaw. Here's a baby mask, this thing's creepy enough just as it is. <laughs> here we got all the Jason stuff and this really good mask here by NECA. 40 bucks, this is a nice, heavy, thick mask. Pointed that out in one of the other stores. This is the only second store I've seen that one in. Let's see. Oh, Edward Scissorhands. I've not seen this anywhere. Oh my god, that is awesome. That is so cool. Look at this. This is the only place I've seen this. Where is it? 30 bucks. That's an awesome price for such a cool uh, costume accessory. Look at that. They're super long. <laughs> I think they're made of plastic, so they're not even like crappy foam. That's pretty cool right there. That's my favorite thing I've seen in here. Here's Slappy from Goosebumps. <laughs> Some Michael Myers. Mm, doesn't look the greatest. Freddy. Looks like we have the whole selection, all three different gloves here that they offer. And they have the blanket. I love that. Stranger Things. Look, they have the retro phone handset. What the heck? Oh, it connects to your mobile phone. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's it. I think we've pretty much seen everything that's totally awesome in here without overdoing it on the costumes this time. So I'm going to move on to the next one. I think there's another one about 30 miles up the highway. Go see what they have. I'm out. <laughs> How in the world have I seen this thing like 25 times and it still scares me? Alright guys, I've got kind of a headache today, but nothing was going to stop me from seeing the Spirit Halloween in Boardman, Ohio inside the old Toys R Us. Look how amazing this is. Look, they still even have the giant Jeffrey sign up there over the entrance. That is totally awesome. I believe Richard Wolf and Terry Allen just filmed this place. Look at this once again. Look at that entrance sign. Is that not cool? <laughs> I'll link their channels below if you guys want to check out their videos. Hello, Jeffrey. All right, let's go on inside here and see what we can find. This is where all the carts would have been, guys. Ooh, what the? Sorry we're dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this, right off the bat we got a Fortnite llama, but it's not blown up. Maybe they'll blow it up while I'm in here. Here's what we got, guys. This is what it looks like now. You can sort of see a little bit of uh, the Toys R Us in the background. You can see the yellow and blue stripes up there on the top in the back. That would be the haunted fishing boat. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got awesome animatronics here. Hopefully we'll find some we haven't seen yet, but let's test these ones out. All right, start out with one of my favorites here, the jumping spider. Here we go. <laughs> How in the world have I seen this thing like 25 times and it still scares me? Okay, let's move on to the creepy towering clown. Look at his hair. Like it seems to me before that the hair was bigger and puffier. He looks like an old man clown now. All right, let's pump it up. I'm looking for someone to play hide and seek with. He's nice and loud too. I'll come find you. <laughs> Start running. <laughs> He's nice and loud. A lot of times you can barely hear what they're saying, but he was nice and loud. All right, let's go through the middle here. All right, through the Reaper's Wharf. Ugh. Okay, let's do this guy here first. 
put hand in my bowl. Don't mind if I do. There he goes. <laughs> he's loud too, and he's thrashing around good. Yeah, that was a good one. All right, here's our sitting scarecrow. I don't know if he's set up for motion activation. Nope, I guess not. <laughs> All of these are really loud. This is great, man. Set up our scary bird here. All right, there we go, we got him. Yeah, these are all nice and loud, man. A lot of the stores you go into, you can barely hear what they're saying or anything. Oh, look, dude, we have, why did I just call you dude? We, <laughs> who am I talking to? We have a second furry, scary spider. Okay, there's two step here things, so let's, maybe it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, we're gonna watch this again because I love how he backs down first and then he jumps up. Okay, so let's watch it again. Watch how he backs down first and then he jumps up. <laughs> I love that. All right, I don't know what this one, nothing is set up here with this one. And for some reason there's nothing set up on this one either. But let's not uh, ignore Mr. Skull here. Okay, here's a setup I haven't seen yet. An actual step pad for Mr. Toots, and he's not tooting. Come on, toot for us, Mr. Toots. <laughs> oh well, all he does is ride around real slow anyways. All right, hmm. Okay, I don't think she's supposed to do anything, but look at her creepy face, look at her eyes. We'll step anyway. Yeah, see there's a lot of these wires that aren't hooked up to anything for some reason. Right here, there should be the guy that's hanging by his arms and thrashing all around. And over here, we've got the guy that is uh, wrapped up in the cocoon. And he's the one that I always say I wish he was thrashing around more. Okay. Yeah, maybe they're just still trying to set some of these up because there's a lot of these step pads that aren't connected to anything. But here we got Hugs the Clown. Hey there, friend. Welcome to the fun house. Come a little closer. We've got fun and games and hugs. <laughs> pretty good, but his mouth wasn't moving. Okay, let's look at the animatronics on the haunted aquarium here. Looks like pretty much the same thing they have everywhere. This guy's going already. You look like a natural for our freak show. If you need a job, I'll introduce you to the boss, but uh, all applicants must be dead. Okay, then we got headless help here. He's not working at all. Oh, there he is. He's sort of working. Here's the chicks. Come on, twin chicks. <laughs> All right, they're working pretty good. Band and Annie. She's not working at all. Experimental Eddie. There we go. Okay. We got the zombie baby, just chilling out. Oh, and here's this chick. <laughs> Hold on, let's do that again. Look at her face. I don't think I've ever heard her laugh afterwards before. This one? It must be this step pad over here. What the heck? Maybe she's motion activated. There she goes. <laughs> She's one of my favorites, actually. Doesn't look like this guy's turned on here. All right, let's go on through the Spirit Aquarium here. We triggered it. Oh, okay, hold on. That one was 
nice and loud. Again, no fog though. I've only seen good fog in one place. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at these and see if there's any of them that we haven't seen anywhere else. And these all look like ones that are set up in here already. Look at this, guys. I haven't seen the Michael Myers string lights. That is awesome. I haven't seen these anywhere. And they got a whole bunch of them, too. Guys, check this out. We just got exclusive access to go behind the scenes in the old Toys R Us. This is amazing. Let's go check this out. Okay, look at this, guys. Holy crap. This is the old Toys R Us. I am totally blown away seeing this. That's where the video games would have been over there, because you can see at the top, that's where those R-Zone signs would have been. I actually have some of those at home. Look at this. Look at somebody drew a SpongeBob. <laughs> but yeah, check this out, man. This is just so awesome. Inside the old Toys R Us. So cool. Look at this. This is where all the old uh, aisles would have been. It's so crazy how when they move these aisles, it's so dirty like this. And look at this. The most awesome stuff you can find. Tamagotchi. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you can always find the most awesome stuff like embedded in these things. It looks like they pretty much dug everything up, but I am seeing like pennies and nickels and stuff all over the place. But yeah, look at this, guys. So unbelievable to be able to see this right now. And I know Toys R Us is apparently making a comeback, but I don't know. And look who we got standing right here. He's not plugged in and ready to roll, but Pennywise. Yep, that's it, guys. Let's not overstay our welcome. But that was uh, an awesome look back here. So glad we were able to do this. All right, guys, that was totally awesome that we were able to go back there. That was a little look at what used to be the Toys R Us in here. So let's uh, let's pick up where we left off here. Okay, we were looking at these, and I saw these sitting here. Michael Myers string lights. Pretty much the same thing, only they're smaller. I wish the little uh, try me thing worked, but I bet you it's exactly the same thing. Pretty cool though. Our Billy Butcherson sidestepper. <laughs> I love that thing. I've watched Hocus Pocus about six times already this season. Okay, let's see. We got the fogging skull pile. I think somebody told me that was from a couple years ago. Sinister spirit, pose and stay skeleton, mummy foggers. Ooh, here's a cool one. Glowing corpse groundbreaker. Try them. Yes, that's pretty cool. I like that. Put some fog around him. What's over here? Oh, these are the lights, like black lights and uh, fog machines and stuff. Here we got a whole bunch of these jumping spiders. I love these things. They scare me every time. Oh, there was something over here that I haven't seen anywhere else. And it's the Cobra Kai jacket. Look at that. That's supposed to be like Johnny's jacket. We got the big snake on the back. That's pretty awesome. Of course, they've got the outfits, the hats, the socks, headbands. This is the first place I've seen the Edward Scissorhands uh, outfit, the shirt and the wig. Look at that. And then they've got like the girls uh, version of it. I don't see any of the actual uh, Edward Scissorhands Scissorhands. It's a 2019 outfit though, so you might be able to get those online if you want them. You got a bunch of It stuff here. Oh, I don't think I've seen the throw anywhere else. I'm not going to go through a lot of the costumes because I have in most of my other videos and a lot of people ask me to look for certain stuff and they don't bother to look through the other videos to see them. So if you're looking for specific stuff, like here's a whole bunch of Fortnite here and I've filmed that several times in other videos. So yeah, if you're looking for specific stuff, go watch my other videos first and if you don't see it, then come back and tell me to look for it and I definitely will. I just don't want to keep putting the exact same stuff in every video and make them like half an hour, 40 minutes long of the exact same stuff, so. 
Here's a Reaper porch light cover. I don't think I've seen him anywhere. That's really cool. You just put that over your porch light and he lights up. I like that. Oh, here's a gargoyle too. I don't know if I've seen him anywhere. Oh my God, I have not seen this anywhere. Billy Butcherson Groundbreaker. That is awesome. <laughs> I have not seen that anywhere. All right, let's see if there is anything else in here that I haven't seen anywhere else. Okay guys, people keep telling me to look for Five Nights at Freddy's and I don't see any anywhere except this one thing right here. I think this is the only thing I've seen anywhere. That's it. That's the only thing. Nothing else. Look at these guys. I haven't seen these anywhere else. Funko Cereal, Ursula, Maleficent, Hades, those are awesome. It's an awesome stuffed oogie boogie. Here's a Sam costume with the treat bag. Oh, and his lollipop and the mask. And the mask is huge, man. That's like bigger than a basketball. I think that is it, guys. I don't see anything else. Um, that I haven't seen in other stores, although I'm sure there are some. So, we're gonna call it for this store. This was an awesome store. Where the heck are we? Oh, Boardman. <laughs> we're in Boardman, Ohio. Been to so many of these things, I can't remember where I'm at. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Stay tuned for more. Gosh, guys, I almost forgot. Before we even start the video, I need to give a shout out to Mario and Audrey. Thank you guys for watching all the time. You guys rule. <laughs>guys today we are in rocky river ohio i believe this is called westwood plaza but i'm probably wrong we're gonna go and check out this spirit halloween right across here and it seems like it's pretty busy and it is pretty windy out here too this is a pretty nice shopping center out here actually everything's brick pretty cool thank you all right guys this is a smaller store we have like the smaller boat set up over here I don't see the haunted aquarium, but, uh, but let's look around and see what they got. It looks like they got some good ones crammed in here. Like the first one is our scarecrow here. Come on. There he is. That's what I'm talking about. And we got our jumping spider over here. Come on. There he goes. <laughs> All right. We got the collector over here. Oh, his hood is down. Well, kind of. I don't know why they do that sometimes. They start up and don't continue. There we go. Nope, maybe not. Yeah, he's moving all right now. Looks like we got Waving Wally over here. He's usually at the uh, Spirit Aquarium. Oh, we got these ones over here, too. These are usually around the Spirit Aquarium, too. Let's see if she's working here. Abandon Annie. She's barely here, but she's working. Looks like she's had her, had her head knocked off or something. All right. Here we go. He's actually working better than some of them that I've seen. Look at his eyes. <laughs> and we got hugs here. Oh, I'm sorry. Step right up. Step right up here. You'll do a nice, very tasty, healthy head. Oh, he didn't lunge. 
He's talking good and he's loud, but he didn't lunge. All right, let's see what we got here. We got the Mummy Fogger, Sitting Scare Witch, Bloodthirsty Betty. You remember in the other store, her hair was ripped off? That was really creepy. <laughs> Posable Dummy, Looming Strawman, Sitting Scarecrow. Ooh, Nightmare Harvester. I think he's from one of the years past. I'd love it if he was set up. Look at that guy. We got some more over here. Crouchy. Mummy Fogger. Billy Butcherson. This is one of my favorites. The, the Billy Butcherson Groundbreaker. Experimental Eddie. Sam. Fogging Skull Pile. Feed the Clown Game. We got a Hugs. He's kind of hard to find, actually, especially this time of the season. Cerberus. Cocooned Corpse. Hey, what the heck is this? Wrap Snacks. Is that supposed to be Madonna on there? It doesn't even make any sense. We got a whole bunch of the brown sp spiders. And black one in there, too. If you're looking for them. Oh, look, guys. Look at this. So many people have told me to look for Five Nights at Freddy's. This is the only place I have seen the costumes. The only place. Freddy, Foxy, and that's what they got right there. And then one of these plastic masks. But I believe, yeah, if you buy the suit, the mask comes with it, actually. Child, tween child child looks like they're all child suits childs and tweens <laughs> of course it appears that i'm in the child section so i'll look in adults too god this is so cool look guys a bright burn costume this is the only place i have seen this costume at all that is awesome that was a badass movie man that is so cool Look, another one that I haven't seen anywhere, Marshmallow. Only place I've seen this one. I know somebody's gonna ask me how much it is. 25 bucks. Have not seen that mask anywhere else. Got some of these door knockers here that I don't know if I've ever seen. Are you sure you want to enter? You better be certain. Dead certain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have seen that guy. I've seen a pumpkin too. I like those. There's one that I haven't seen, but I don't remember what it is now. Hello again. I almost didn't recognize you. You smell so different when you're awake. <laughs> totally creepy. Grim Tabletop Gargoyle. Ooh. That's cool. I thought maybe he moved too, but I guess not. I think I've pretty much seen all this stuff. He looks like a a model. Like he should be on the cover of GQ in that picture. I think all this I've pretty much seen. Let's check this out though. I like that. Here's some try me headstones. Okay, that's not doing anything. How about this one? Nothing. I hate when they don't work. Severed hand. Severed foot, and I get this, the bloody arm, but it kind of doesn't work if there's no arm in there and the hand is smaller than a regular hand. <laughs> oh look, severed ears. That's kind of cool, the Mike Tyson special. Oh look, it's a heart. Extreme haunted sound effects box. Okay. Grave Mound. Guys, you remember this? We saw this in another store. I think that's kind of cool. It's like a fabric. It's almost like a bag. Although I think it inflates. Cover a pile of leaves or rags. Secure Grave Mound with... Okay, so it's just like a fabric bag. And you cover leaves 
to make it look like it's a, uh, a fresh dug grave. Look at this, guys. Crumb, the real monsters. Holy crap. I haven't seen that anywhere. And here's, what is this? A Pikachu kit? It looks like a headband and a tail. And they got an adult Pikachu one-piece pajama up here. Look, the flap in the butt. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way. This may be one of my favorite costumes ever. A ghost. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I mean, you could just take a sheet and make this, but it looks so cool. It's so Halloween-y. Hockey stick. This reminds me of the beginning of uh, Halloween H2O. There's another Goosebumps. This is a little bit different. This is, I think this is slappy. Look, Night of the Living Dummy. Camp Crystal Lake shirt. I may actually buy that if they had my size, but I'm still too fat. I like that. Look at these things. First aid, carving, arts and crafts. Axe throwing. <laughs> this is a pretty cool shirt. I haven't seen that anywhere else. I like that. Oh my god, I can't believe it. They still have a Billy Butcherson head. Holy crap, I thought these were sold out everywhere. 40 bucks for a Billy Butcherson head. I love it. Okay, Billy, hold on. I'll put your head back. We got a ton of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff here, Sally. Oogie Boogie inflatable. I love that. Jack Skellington masks and here's actually a jack skellington suit that's pretty cool looking we got the jack skellingtons even in the fabric looks like that's yeah pants and a jacket i don't see any adult size five nights at freddy's though i'm gonna take one more walk through here just to double check but because a whole lot of people have asked me for those or at least ask me if they have them. If you're wondering, no, I'm not like running around here buying a ton of stuff for people. <laughs> but they do have a Da Bomb shirt. <laughs> and an As If beanie. <laughs> I haven't seen this anywhere either. Extreme Alien. Includes jumpsuit, mask, collar, and gloves. Look, the hands only have three fingers. Nope, guys, that is... It for Five Nights at Freddy's, only over in the child section. They don't have any adults. Do have a pickle. I don't think I've seen these anywhere else. Giant butterfly wings. These are cool too. These are like fabric and they have a wire, uh, I don't even know what you call it, like a wire frame so they don't lose their shape. And then that's what it looks like when you wear it. Pretty cool. A giant Slimer mask with the buck teeth. <laughs> And a huge oogie boogie mask. Oh, look at his teeth. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Look, we got oogie boogie cereal. I haven't seen that anywhere else either. Hades, Ursula, Maleficent. I've seen those, but not oogie boogie. That is awesome. All right, guys, I think that's about it for Rocky River Spirit. I don't even remember what this plaza is called. <laughs> Here we go, Westwood Town Center. That's what it is in Rocky River, Ohio. That's it, some pretty cool stuff in there. I'm getting sad with Halloween season coming to an end here, but there it is. We'll be back next year and I cannot wait, cannot wait to see what they have in store, what kind of animatronics, what kind of total awesomeness. I'll see you guys later, peace. Look at this baby. <laughs> He's like, the moment you fall asleep, I shall kill you. All right guys, it is a windy day out here. We are in Elyria, Ohio to check out the Spirit Halloween inside the old Bed Bath & Beyond. It's kind of funny because it's right beside the Family Christian Center. And they're also closed. But let's go in here and check this out. It is super windy out here today. Ooh, it's even blowing in here and things are blowing off the wall. <laughs> yeah. 
it's funny because I filmed here before when they were closed. We weren't able to get in, but we were able to look in the doors, in the windows, and just see everything that used to be the Bed Bath & Beyond, except for, of course, at that time it was not Spirit Halloween. But here we go, guys. We got the Reaper's Wharf right here. We got animatronics. We're gonna check them out. Okay, so let's come over here and start with Bubba. He's one of my favorites. I'm kind of surprised I never bought one of these this year. <laughs> ah, there he is. <laughs> Look at his face. I love how his eyes light up. Holy crap. He hasn't been in the last couple of stores that I've been to. All right, and we got uh, Rusty over here. Let's see if he works. Yep, there he goes. He's not thrashing around as much as the other ones. Well, actually not thrashing around very much at all. But he's still pretty cool. Holy crap, that's scared me. <laughs> okay, so we got sitting Scarecrow here. Let's see if he works. Wait. Okay, he's not turning on, but... Yeah, there we go. I love him. Let's do him laugh. We got our lovely skull on the front here. And Jack Straw. I wonder if he's... Oh, he must not be working because he's standing up. Look at his face. I should use him for my uh, thumbnail picture. I think so. And we got the collector over here. I love you this guy. Okay. Once I take your soul, the body will die. I collect this now unneeded flesh to feed my army of demons so we can hunt for more. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he's not like a jump scare, he's one of my favorite ones. And I love how he has the bag that you're just supposed to assume has like a body in it. Look how huge he is. Look at his hands. Look how big his hands are compared to mine. Holy crap. All right, let's go on through here. Low clearance, watch your head. Hello, Mr. Iron Rod. Okay, look, we got a fish bone in the net. And we got Hugs the Clown here. Let's check him out. Oh, he didn't lunge. I imagine these things by this time in the season are just so worn out from people uh, stepping on a thing and and kicking them in. Reduced price, 105 bucks. Half price, probably because he doesn't lunge. He's pretty awesome anyway, though. And he still talks, so that's cool. All right, we got our whatever you call this guy. And I will never stop saying I wish that he thrashed around. That's just not enough movement for me. He needs to be kicking all over the place trying to escape. All right, we don't have any more setup over here. There's usually the guy like hanging from here, thrashing all around who I really like. But we do have a whole bunch of these here. Look, he's on sale for a hundred bucks. I would just be afraid that he doesn't work though. Yeah, 50% off because he's damaged. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I mean, if you knew how to fix him, that'd be great. Grave-grabbing doll. I don't think I've seen him anywhere, or her. Looming straw man. Shotgun blast zombie. I think I saw that in one other store. Creepy towering clown. He's e enormous. Here's our favorite Mr. Toots. And I love the Area 31 capsule. That's pretty cool. We got a bunch of fog machines here. Headless help. Waving Wally. Oh, we got a Jack Skellington down there. I know a bunch of people are looking for him. And Experimental Eddie. All right, here's our Spirit Aquarium, but let's go over here first and see what uh, animatronics we got set up. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same one in, in all the stores, but let's see how they work here, if they're gonna work. There's Eddie. Oh, he's not thrashing around. Yeah, like I said, I can only imagine that by this time in the game, these things have been used so much, and that's why they're hardly working. Let's try this chick here. Come on, 
I really like that one. Here we got the giant towering clown and a scared girl behind me. <laughs> Let's get a look, look at his face. Okay, we got headless help here. Ah, uh, he doesn't work. And then waving Wally. He's still working pretty good, but that's like all he does. Just waves and talks. All right, let's go back over here and go through the uh, aquarium. Wait a minute, we got one more here. We got Bloodthirsty Betty. Ooh, she's gonna work. Look at her face. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead through the Spirit Aquarium. Yeah, this one's not working either, apparently. And it looks like as they get kind of worn out, they cut them in half in the price. Okay, Spirit Aquarium. We triggered it. Should be coming up pretty soon. Oh, here he is right here. He's coming around. Oh, crap. Okay. Something is definitely off in here. Yeah, unfortunately, it's kind of on the fritz in here. Um, this one's not even working. And we were able to see the great white swing swim past here. But while he was swimming, he crashed into this one. But there was still, there was like no sound, there was no fog. That's kind of a bummer, oh well. Okay, let's go on out here. Okay, let's go on a little quest here for things that we have not seen in other stores or specific costumes people have asked me to look for. And I see something right now. Look at this pug mask. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's one of those that the mouth moves. I can't even get it to do it. There we go. The mouth moves. The mouth moves as you move your own mouth. I love that thing. I don't know how much it is. $60 for that one. Here's one called a Nighty Night Mask. That is creepy. I think... Yeah, that's another one where the mouth moves. I like those. That... Oh my god, that is so creepy. Metallic Pink Bunny? I don't think I've seen that. That's pretty creepy, though. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Donnie Darko. I think I've seen this one in other stores. This one reminds me of the Silver Shamrock masks in uh, Halloween 3. There's another pig mask. It's from Saw. A couple people have told me to watch out for the pig mask. That is so creepy, man. Oh, my God. Look at this one. Nightmare hair, it's called. <laughs> I like that one. That's pretty cool. And it's also one of those, the Animotion, where it moves with your own mouth. Abraham Lincoln. That's kind of cool, actually. Blood Harvest Mask, Chest, and Hands Kit. Look, it even comes with the chest that says Trick or Treat. Look, they got the uh, hanging characters on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. And they still got a whole bunch of them here. Even the smaller ones over here. This is one of my favorite things I've seen in the stores at all. Billy Butcherson, Billy Butcherson Groundbreaker from Hocus Pocus. I just think that's hilarious. Undead Groundbreaker. I think I've seen this one in other stores, but that's cool. These are some of my favorites here. The Menacing Creep and the Lurking Zombie. That would be so creepy to see that on your window. Look at this baby. <laughs> He's like, the moment you fall asleep, I shall kill you. Catacomb gargoyle cloth. Okay, it's sort of like a banner. But the face is a hard plastic. There must be several faces in there. <laughs> Peekaboo bear, I think I know what this does. Oh, well, apparently it does nothing. 
this, you can kind of create your own prop, a dropping mechanism, door opening mechanism. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen the Rasta banana anywhere. Rolling eyes emoji costume. Okay. It's like a lumberjack hat, complete with lumberjack beard. <laughs> Here's just the beard. Redneck beard. Okay. Look guys, here's a voodoo doll. I just said in my last video, I haven't seen a voodoo doll anywhere. This is really cool. How much is this? 10 bucks. I love that. <laughs> Bohemian princess? I like that one. My game, my rules. <laughs> here's a better looking Bob Ross wig and beard. Most of them that I see look like Seth Rogen. They even have the palette. That's cool. Here's an It shirt I don't think I've seen anywhere else. And also, look, It teeth. I don't think I've seen the Pennywise teeth anywhere. Huh. God, here we go. The Edward Scissorhands, uh, hands. The scissors. <laughs> the scissor hands. This is only the second place I've seen these. That is really cool. I swore if I found them again, I was going to buy them, and I'm not going to buy them. <laughs> I just don't have 30 bucks to blow on that right now. But they are awesome. And here's a Chucky mask that I don't see, don't think I've seen in other stores. Billy Butcherson mask. That's a good looking mask. And then down here we got the outfit. Of course we have the Sanderson outfits up here. And all the wigs. All right, guys, well, how do I get out of here? <laughs> that is it for the Spirit Halloween here in, where am I, Illyria, in the old Bed Bath & Beyond. They had some good stuff in there, a few things that I haven't seen anywhere else. Um, but we're gonna get on the road, see if we can find another one, get some exploring done today. The rest of these spirits are out in this area because Halloween, is almost over this year and I want to see as many as I can. Her hair is even like totally ripped off here. There you go, Miss Hair. I doubt she's even gonna work, let's see. Oh, she is, watch, her hair's probably gonna fly. Watch this, you're like a catapult. <laughs> We are in North Olmsted, Ohio now, going to another Spirit Halloween, which is in a former Babies Are Us. Look at the label scar up there. <laughs> they took the letters down, but the letters still remain. Spooky. All right, let's go on in and see what they have to offer. This is where all the carts would have been. I like it already. Look, if you make a donation, you get your name on one of these little things here, which I have done so in some of these stores along the way. So keep an eye out when you go shopping at the Spirit Halloween. Okay guys, here we go. Let's start the tour. And what I see first in the Reaper's Wharf is nothing here. Oh look, there's an out of order sign. <laughs> and then there's nothing over here except for a spider. Spider Bones, that is. He actually looks pretty cool. Look at that face. Several eyes. Got Rusty here. Oh, oh crap, he's out of order too. Okay, that sucks. All right, let's check out the collector. Collector is rolling dirty. Yes, I would. <laughs> Okay, Jack Straw is non-existent here. However, we do have the jumping spider. Let's see if he works. 
Ooh, yep. That's a good one too. He actually comes right out the hole. Pretty cool. There's our ghoul on top of the haunted ship here. We got hugs. Ooh. He's working, but his mouth isn't moving. Let's see if he lunges. Yep, here he comes. Yeah, at this point, a lot of these things don't work as they're supposed to anymore because of all the times that they've had to work with people walking through the stores looking at them. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. I see we got Crouchy over here going nuts on us already. <laughs> Alright, let's check out this guy, see if he works. Oh, come on, please. Man, so many of these are not working. Those heads are supposed to go back and forth, the eyes light up, and I have yet to see this, but you're able to hook up, shut up Crouchy, you're able to hook up a fog machine to these guys so fog comes out their mouth. <laughs> okay, I get it. Alright, this guy's not here, it's supposed to be the hanging guy thrashing all around right there. And then we got the, uh, the cocoon guy here. He doesn't appear to be working. Either. Oh, there he goes. We just had to agitate him a little bit. Here we got Sam, but he's not set up. Apparently, they had the Arctic Dragon set up here at one point, too. But, you know, we're getting to the end of the season here, so there's not a whole lot of things set up anymore, or at least ones that are working. Let's see if we got any over here that we haven't seen anywhere. Cocoon corpse. Ooh, fogging basement doors. I don't think I've seen that one anywhere. Lost her way. Sinister spirit doll. There's always Mr. Tootses around. Jumping spiders. There's the tortured torso. He's supposed to be up there on the boat. Let's see. Experimental Eddie. Menacing Molly. Waving Wally. Ghostly tricycle. Uh, Chucky, Michael Myers, Double Trouble, Sitting Scare Witch. I haven't seen her set up anywhere, but I think she's from, you know, a couple years ago or last year or something. Let's see over here. Escape from the Grave Tombstone. I haven't seen that one anywhere either. Hanging Hell Fiend. I like him, actually. I've seen him in a couple of the other stores. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. These things are all worked to death. Her hair is even, like, totally ripped off here. There you go, Miss Hair. I doubt she's even going to work. Let's see. There she is. Watch, her hair's probably going to fly. Watch this. You're like a catapult. <laughs> that is creepy in itself, though, with no hair. That's even creepier than with hair. Okay, we got Dahlia here, but she obviously doesn't work anymore because she's standing up. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, that was too funny. Experimental Eddie. Yeah, he's still working. Okay, then we got Abandoned Annie. I don't even hear her talking. Here's our twins. Those aren't working. Headless help. Move your mouth, mister. Move your mouth. <laughs> and waving Wally. All right, let's go back around to this side here and go through the spirit aquarium. Okay, everything appears to be working in here, but I don't hear that we triggered anything. Oh, yeah, we just missed it, guys. We just missed it. We'll hang out in here and see it again, though. Octopus, piranha, and there's no piranha at the moment. Anglerfish, there he is. Pufferfish. 
doing nothing. Okay, right here is where he's supposed to jump out and get us. Maybe we gotta trigger it again. Let's walk back through real quick here. There he is. Alright, yeah, all we had to do was go back through and trigger him. Alright, let's roll out of here. Okay, well that's that. Let's look around at some of these masks and things. I love to just look at these and see if there's things I haven't seen in other stores like this one right here. The sloth that moves his mouth with yours. I love that. He's awesome. Awesome. And look at this. We got a, a, a fox. <laughs> That's cool. I haven't seen that one anywhere. Right now he's a fox wearing a werewolf mask. There he is. That looks pretty cool. I like that. There's a white fox too. I don't like that one as much though. That doesn't really look like a fox. That one looks like a fox. Mouth moving rooster. So here's some purge masks, and I've seen those, but I don't think I've seen this specific one. Michael Myers. Here's just the regular Michael Myers face. The saw face. That's a pretty good looking one, but you'd need to find the wig somewhere. Here's Slappy from Goosebumps. I don't think I've seen smiley stitches anywhere. <laughs> Rabid Raccoon. I think he's one that also moves his mouth with yours. Werewolf up there. I like the shiny masks. Like, look at this one. This orange pumpkin looking skull one. I like that. Red one here. We got a gold skull down there. And a silver ghost mask over there. Here's a gold whip. What the heck? <laughs> Horse face. Look at these staffs, like a walking sticks. So they got the, uh, what is that, like an eagle skull? A regular skull in a top hat. Sugar skull. Pumpkin, ooh, I like that one. Look at this one. This is like a, what the heck do you call that thing? Like some kind of a dragon snake with a ball in its mouth. Oh, look at this one, it's a heart. <laughs> look, we got the Joe Dirt wig. This undead guy is the name of this wig. <laughs> I mean, if you needed to just piece a costume together, if you couldn't find the actual costume, you could look through this whole store and find, through all the accessories and the wigs and everything, exactly what you needed to create what you wanted to. And this could be like a, like a Beetlejuice uh, wig there if you needed it. This one reminds me of Uncle Rico. <laughs> this one could pass for Doc Brown if he needed it to. This looks like the uh, the wig from Mama's family. I always love seeing these. I think they're supposed to make sound though too. Okay, yeah, just barely hear it. It's the one two Freddy's coming for you song. And here's Jason. That's pretty cool. I love those. Creepy clowns. Oh, come on, work. They're not working. Ooh, here's skeletons, though. Yeah! Those are cool. Look at this one. I haven't seen this one anywhere. It's just one of those hanging ghouls. But that's pretty cool. Does he do something? Well, he's got a button, but I don't know. Light up shredded skeleton. He must have lights in his eyes or something and I just can't see them. I like that. Lots of different colors of hairspray. Sparkly, yellow, red, green, black, blue, purple. This is one of my favorite ones I've seen, the Sloth Union suit. It's basically like pajamas. I'm not big into steampunk, but this stuff is pretty cool looking. That just is so creepy. Reminds me of those old asylums. Oh, here's a like a bronze or gold one. <laughs> I like that one better. Look at this, a giant 90s inflatable cell phone. <laughs> we got pirate stuff. Here's a big guy pirate suit. Oh, look at this, a parrot. This reminds me of the parrot at the Rainforest Car Wash. They had a real parrot. 
You'll have to watch that video if you haven't seen it. I was filming the car wash and I walked into the office. They had a real life parrot in there. Chick pirates. Pirate wench. <laughs> I really like the NASA helmet. I've only seen these in a couple of stores, but it's a full helmet and I assume you can see through there. Pretty cool. Look at this Crayola costume. I only see greens, but that's pretty funny. Look at that hat. It reminds me of the movie Elf. A couple more down here. I got a blue one back there. And here's a pink one for a chick. My Hero Academia. A lot of people have been looking for those. Here's the Slimer that everybody loves telling me how thick he is because he has a butt. <laughs> oh my god. Look, a good guy's hammer. I think I've seen this in a couple of other stores, but that's pretty cool. 13 bucks. Good guys. Of course, we got Freddy Krueger. And I'll tell you what, guys. The price of these, this mask is 25 bucks. Then the sweater, I think, is, yeah, 35 And the glove, how much is the glove? 20 bucks. For that price, for the whole costume, that is an awesome costume. This is a real legit sweater. Unlike the generic ones you see at like Kmart, the whole thing at Kmart was like 60 bucks and it was just, I mean, it was trash. Sorry, Kmart, but it was. And we'll end with the always awesome Billy Butcherson. Got any cash, Hollywood? All right, guys, that takes care of the Spirit Halloween in North Olmsted, Ohio, inside the old Babies Are Us with the giant label scar. You can see some of the uh, Babies R Us stuff on the walls, like up around the top. Um, you know, you had to peek back through there to see it, but kind of cool. All right, I'm heading out to another one. See if we can get a bunch of these done today and round out Halloween. I'm already looking forward to next year to see what kind of animatronics and everything they have. Right, guys we are in what I believe to be Brooklyn Ohio and although I'm very tempted to go to this AMC theater and see the new Zombieland movie there is another spirit Halloween right behind me so let's go check it out I have absolutely no idea what this used to be but honestly it doesn't even matter to me right now because <laughs> we're gonna go in here and see what kind of awesome Halloweeniness we can find This looks to be a super small store. I don't even see any animatronics, but we're gonna poke around a little bit anyway. Hmm, yeah, I don't see any animatronics. I don't see the boat, the aquarium, anything. That's really strange, because it seems like any store that I've been in, no matter how small it is, they've found a way to, uh, to incorporate that. But here is Marshmallow. This is only the second store I have seen the marshmallow mask in, and that's a kid's size. The other one was adult. I guess that just gives us a chance to look at everything else but that stuff for once. So we'll look at all these accessories and stuff. Here's an ax. Here's a worn ax. That's actually kind of cool. Viking ax, Viking ax, holster. Look at the bone ax. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Mad Max or Thunderdome or something. Executioner Axe. What do we got here? We got the wrench, a crowbar. I haven't seen the crowbar anywhere. Of course, I haven't spent a ton of time looking at costume accessories. Look at this giant, rusty wrench. That thing is huge. And this, I mean, it's foam, but it looks legit. We got swords up here and giant scissors <laughs> that's pretty cool oh they actually open and close too that's really cool i got a bunch of different kind of bats here look at this a bullet belt oh they got a ghillie suit that's really cool i think that's yeah that's a child size trench knife butcher knives and cleavers here's a bloody one 
This is more like the scream knife. Machetes. Look, they got a, a folding scythe. I think that's how you say it. Machete hockey stick. Reaper ammo pack for Overwatch. Reaper shotgun. Here's some costumes down here for Overwatch. Avengers Hulk. Captain America shield. I got some Star Wars over here. Of course, you gotta have the, uh... Oh my gosh, did I totally forget what it's called? Lightsaber. Holy crap, how could I forget what that's called? Here's some Assassin's Creed stuff. Throwing knives. Teen Altair Vambrace with hidden blade. Ooh, there's a blade inside. We got some Minecraft stuff here with the swords. Ooh, those are actually pretty good quality too. It's like thick, thick plastic. We got Halo stuff. Energy sword. Some, uh, oh, what the heck is this? Covenant Needler. Okay. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty awesome. Fortnite Clinger Grenade. Ooh, it's a try-me. I'm trying, but it's not doing anything. Oh, well. Rainbow Smash. What the heck is this? I haven't seen this anywhere. I thought it was like a scooter or something, but... Rabbit Raider Mask. Beef Boss Mask. Those are just like the plastic ones that go over your face. Whoa, what the heck? Llama Bell. I haven't seen this anywhere else either. That's really cool. Comes with the stick. Boogie Bomb. Porta Fort. Alright, here's another try me. Let's do it. Oh, it's working. Pretty cool. Here we got a Fort Fortnite bite mark. What the heck? Oh my god, no way. It's one of those that you hold on here and squeeze it, and he bites. Check it out. <laughs> oh my god. I almost had to buy that just because it's so cool, and I don't even know what Fortnite is. I haven't looked at a lot of this stuff. Look, they got bottles of blood, and there's like theatrical blood spray. That's more like a spritzer, I guess. Blood capsules. Like little tubes. Here's facial gashes, ears, wounds, and things. And then I noticed over here they have like this, uh, oh, spirit gum adhesive and remover. So that's if you want to use the spirit gum to put that stuff on. And then where did I see? Right here, liquid latex. If you just want to create your own, put it on your face, and then you kind of pick it off, and then paint it up with red like blood. Here we got a full deluxe gorilla suit. That's an adult size. Look at this, we got the beer garden babe. Look at this hat. Oh my gosh, it's like a, like a yodeler hat. <laughs> There's some little steampunk accessories I haven't seen before. Bag of gears, wrist cuffs, steampunk jabot, whatever that means. That must mean that thing right there. Oh, here's a pocket watch. Hand bracelet, goggles, Here, yeah, Jabot, that must mean that thing right there. Steampunk makeup kit, ooh, earrings, it's like little gears. What is this, face decals? I thought it was tattoos, but it's gears that you actually stick on your face around your eyes. There's a steampunk patch. <laughs> Look at this, the shirt says psych. And that's the bomb shirt, East style hip pack. Look at this totally 80s dress. <laughs> that's funny. Look at the fishnet gloves, oh my god. Fake money. United States of Halloween. <laughs> that's cool. That's probably five G's in there. Handcuffs. Oh look, we have a toy taser. I wonder if it does anything. None of the, oh, there we go, look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> My brother brought a tra taser the other day when we went out to Crybaby Bridge at midnight. We got all kinds of different uh, colored cream makeups. Whites over here. Makeup crayons. 
Anything you could need. Oh my God, look at these alien glasses. I almost have to buy these just because they're cool. But then I would wear them one time for a picture and never put them on again. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for that store. Kind of surprised they didn't have, like, the animatronics and, and things like that. They didn't even have, like, a, a part of the boat. Every spirit that I've been in has had at least the front end of the boat. Okay, wait a minute. This is as close as it gets to them having any kind of an animatronic at that store. That's really strange. I just have not seen one at all with no animatronics or anything. Oh well, that's it. I'm gonna poke my head in over here at the theater and just see if they're playing Zombieland. And yes they are. But it's not till seven o'clock, that's like two hours away yet. I'm not hanging around this area for that long. <laughs> all right guys, I will catch you later, peace. We are in Reynoldsburg, Ohio today. There are only a few days left of October, but we are not done yet. We are at another Spirit Halloween. This one is in what used to be a Babies R Us. Look, you can still see the little plaques up there. <laughs> Our time is winding down, but I was not gonna give up the opportunity to come to another Spirit Halloween. And look at this, guys. Entire store on sale starting November 1st, 50% off. Holy crap. All right, let's go in here and see what they got. All right, guys, look at this. Right when I walked in, I noticed this guy. He was actually standing over here, but we moved him over here to set him up so I could hear him. Apparently, he's called Burlap Horror. He's like one of their first uh, animatronics, I guess. He doesn't do a whole lot, but he does make sound, and you, you can't really hear him because there's so much sound in here. But he does look awesome. His eyes light up, and look at the rope. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at his hands. I love this. That's hilarious. That guy's awesome. All right, guys, so check it out. We got Rusty here, and they got a sign that says, I'm broken. If you think you can fix me, I'm 50% off. So that's cool. So if anybody knows how to fix these things, come on down here and grab you a Rusty at 50% off. Over here, we got the collector, and he's got a sign too. My mouth isn't working, 25% off. I mean, he's still creepy, you know, and he's, he, he's enormous. He's one of my favorites. I love the bag full of souls. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> See, the eyes still light up, so that's cool. I'm sure you could fix the mouth real easy. Oh, look at the floor, guys. We still have markings from the Babies R Us. Holy crap, that always scares me so bad, that stupid horn. All right, through the Reefers Wharf. I know it's Reapers, but... I like it. Oh look, there's usually like just a regular human skull, but they have the bird skull up there. Ah! Irvy. Maybe he's not working either. Hello. <laughs> Let's go over and see the uh, the jumping spider over here, one of my favorites. See if he works. Ooh, there he is. <laughs> I can't believe after seeing him so many times, I just actually jumped again. Look, we got the Arctic Dragon. He's going. I never could really understand what the Arctic Dragon has anything to do with this whole haunted uh, boat theme, whatever you call it. Haunted aquatics. <laughs> but I do like that guy, and apparently a lot of people do, because he's sold, sold pretty quick. You got this guy over here. Yeah, there he goes. I know I've said it a million times, but if I bought him, well, I wouldn't buy him. 
I would actually buy this guy over here. Tormented Soul or whatever he's called. Tortured, tortured Torso, not Tormented Soul. <laughs> but this one, when he's actually working, thrashes around. You'll have to watch some of my other videos. But I would totally buy him and then wrap him up in a uh, spider web to make him look like this and hanging up hang him upside down so he would be totally thrashing all around that would be cool oh he's gonna turn this one on i think meanwhile we have the creepy towering clown and he is super creepy and super super towering look at his eyes he's one of my favorites he reminds me of the haunted car wash, except for that was hugs, and I don't see hugs in here. Unless he's set up somewhere else, maybe around the haunted aquarium or something. We'll check that out in a minute. Oh, here we go. Now he's moving. He's not thrashing around as much as some of them I've seen, but he's moving. How you doing there, buddy? Halloween's almost over and then you can come down. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We got a, a scary trunk. Let's see if he does anything. Oh crap, he doesn't work, but that's cool. I don't think I've seen him anywhere else. Scary tree trunk. He is scary. Wow, we got a whole pile of these things still. Look, they got an Area 31 capsule. I've only seen that in like three other stores, maybe only two. Experimental Eddie. Looks like Fogging Pumpkin Trio. That's cool, I don't know if I've seen that anywhere this season. Mummy Fogger, I like that one. Look, they actually have two Area 31 capsules. I was thinking the other day, I was watching a video on these, a, a, a setup, you know, from when they first came out, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you had like 20 of those and just had them lining a room? You could have a whole alien setup, that would be sweet. Swinging Scarecrow? I don't think I've seen him. Sitting Scare Clown. Let's see, what else do we got here? The collector, wow, I'm actually surprised that there is a collector available. And I'm very tempted to buy it. <laughs> but I can't do that. Oh, they, and they even have an Arctic Dragon, holy crap. That's surprising that this, this time in the season, they actually have Arctic Dragon and the collector. I don't think I've seen this one anywhere. A talking witch. Let's see if she works. Um, sort of. Maybe, I don't know if she uses batteries or... Yeah, probably. Alright guys, everybody has seen these, so we're not even going to mess with them. But we got Waving Wally, Headless Help. Somebody was asking me the other day, we'll do this real quick. Yeah, somebody was asking me the other day if his mouth is supposed to move. He's blinking, actually. I haven't seen a lot of them blink. But yeah, when I was first out here filming these uh, these spirits, the mouth was moving. And uh, I don't know if it's just a, a faulty mechanism in there or what the deal is. But, uh, but the mouth doesn't move on most of them. Experimental Eddie. And then we got our grave graveyard ghoul here. Let's go through the Spirit Aquarium. Okay. Doesn't sound like we tripped anything, but let's see. Hmm. What the heck? Oh! <laughs> I cannot believe I just actually got scared by that. I don't think I've been scared by that in any of these. But that sound sounded like a telephone keypad or something. I'm looking up going like, what the heck is that? And then that thing came out of nowhere and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that was totally awesome. I'm so used to seeing everything in here that nothing's scaring me anymore, but that just scared me. Oh, look at this. Here's the old Babies R Us signage still on the wall. <laughs> That's funny. Let's take a look around here now and see if there's anything... Man, this late in the game, there's not like a whole lot of stuff left. I've only seen these in a couple of stores. The Inflatable Sam. Those are really cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, Pe Peekaboo Bear. He's not working anymore. Man, these things have probably been worked to death by thousands of people coming in these stores. 
Okay, now I know I've seen this one in other stores, but I don't think I've seen this one. I like this one. That's really cool. Look at that. I like that one. Look at this. We got black pumpkin lights here. I don't know if we can get this to... No, I guess not, but those look really cool. There's some more back here. Oh, the, none of the trimies are working. Yeah, I can only imagine how many times these uh, trimie buttons have been pushed on all these things. Hundreds of thousands over the season. Here's an alien suit I don't think I've seen. I've seen a couple of different ones, but not this one. And apparently the eyes light up. That is cool. Heck, this is what's so cool about this store. They have everything you can imagine. I mean, if you want to just put together a costume of any kind, look at this. Inflatable bamboo. Like, I can't even imagine what you would need that for. Inflatable bone. But if you need a piece of bamboo, there it is. <laughs> look at this. Tails. White, brown, black. Animal paws. Gnome piggyback. I don't think I've seen that one anywhere. Look. Look at this guy's sumo baby, what the heck? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Y'all need some Jesus. Ooh, I love this mask. Look at this alien. I just love aliens, man. They are real. The truth is out there. That's a full head mask too. I love it. Oh, look at this, back alley brawler. This actually reminds me of a Double Dragon on the Sega. <laughs> this, if you wanna be a pimp, Oh look, it's a clock, like a Flava Flav clock. And they got the pimp chain, Dalla Dalla Bill, y'all. Gold glasses. Here's a V for Vendetta suit, like the entire suit, I think. Cape hat, mask, belt with six daggers. That's pretty cool, I haven't seen that anywhere else. And look at this, a Garth wig. <laughs> oh my god, it comes with the glasses too. Look at this, pop star, it's Prince. Hey, look at this, we got the Cheshire Cat. Enchanting Royal Heart Queen and Miss Mad Hatter. I actually like that one. That looks pretty cool. Hey, here's Classic Alice, too. Now look, we got lots of uh, clown costumes here, but I gotta tell you right now, Hugs the Clown became my absolute favorite when I went through that, uh, that haunted car wash. Look, I mean, he's already creepy as it is. But in the car wash, he was soaking wet, and there was, like, wind blowing, you know, the blowers that dry your car. So his sign was flowing all around, his hair was blowing all around, even though it was wet. It was so creepy looking. I'm actually really surprised that nobody dressed up as Pennywise for that thing. Which would have been totally awesome. Wait a minute, now that I think about it, I think there was one guy dressed up as the classic Pennywise but I only saw him one time, like when I was getting ready to pull into the car wash. I don't know, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll, I'll, I'll try to link it at the end here if I remember. Holy crap, we got Marvin the Martian. <laughs> Think I show it in every single spirit video, my hero academia right there. And I still get people telling me to look for it. I wonder what this one would be for, this purple, maybe like if you were dressing up as Joker or something. Oh my gosh, no way. I'm not even gonna comment on it. You guys can think whatever you want while you're looking at that. Holy crap. Lloyd Christmas tuxedo. I cannot believe I just found this. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Look guys, it's even got the top hat. That is probably my favorite costume I have found in this whole place. And it's in the clearance section. If I were gonna buy a costume today, it would be the Lloyd Christmas tuxedo. Oh, look, this mask one guy was wearing also in the haunted car wash. That one looked really creepy when he came around the corner. Metallic witch. I don't know why, but I am absolutely loving like the witch costumes and the witch animatronics and stuff this year. This one looks really cool being shiny green. I love it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Man, I am so bummed that the Halloween season is coming to an end. Guys, is it just me? Or does the Totally Skeletons uh, costume, the art on the front, does that remind you of the NSYNC No Strings Attached album? <laughs> Look at this one, oh my god. <laughs> 
Look guys, one Five Nights at Freddy's mask. Oh wait, and we have a costume up here too. So that must mean there's more in the store somewhere. Oh, right here's more. Yeah, they got a little bit. I haven't seen a lot of that this year. They got one more down here. Foxy. Those have been kind of hard to find though. Look at this creepy zombie clown. Holy crap. It's getting more and more difficult to find things that I haven't seen in other stores. Look, I don't know if I've seen the Patty Whacker <laughs> Fortnite. It's a giant uh, spatula, look at that thing. But yeah, it's getting more and more difficult to find things that I haven't seen in these stores because I've been in so many. I don't even know how many I've filmed this year. I love the Harry Potter stuff. I think I filmed like 30 of them or something, maybe even more. And look at this, guys. We're gonna end this one on the baby buccaneer. That is too funny. Includes jumpsuit, bandana cap. Oh, I guess that's it. It's a baby pirate. Pirates have babies too. All right, guys, that does it for that one. I got a not today Satan uh, magnet. I'm gonna stick it on my car. <laughs> it is too hilarious. All right, I'm heading out to yet another one. I'll see you guys later. Sold out pretty quick everywhere. Ah! <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs>
I still not, never got to see him with the uh, the fog set up in any store this year at all. But I guess the fog is like a fire hazard thing or something. It sets off the alarms. I like that one though. Pretty cool. Here's another white ghoul. That's where that other guy is usually hanging. I can't. I can never remember what he's called. Something torso, <laughs> tortured torso, or something like that. And then we got our cocooned corpse over here. And he's not working either, man. These are just played to death in here, guys. End of the season. This is what it's like. Oh my God, guys. I can't believe what I'm seeing. They have a Pennywise. Is it even in there? Nope, it's an empty box. Holy crap. I was about to say, my son and his girlfriend were looking for one. I just gave the one away that I had. And uh, I was just about to buy that for him, but it's just an empty box. So, here we got Rusty sitting on the floor. I doubt he's going to do anything. Nope. And here's the box for the Area 31 capsule. Pumpkin stack. All right, Spirit Aquarium over here, but we're going to check these out first. See if there's anything that we haven't seen anywhere. I'm surprised that I'm seeing these uh, Area 31 capsules in the past couple of stores. Roaming Creepy Bear. Dark Jester on a Swing. Let's see. Mm, more of just the regular stuff. Everybody loves Mr. Toots. All he does is just roll around real slow, but everybody loves him. Deadly Roots. Oh, that's the tree we were just looking at up there. Yeah, just the usual. Swinging Scarecrow, Posing Stay Skeleton. All right, here we go. We got Waving Wally. Yeah, he's working. Headless Help. Which isn't working, but that's not surprising. <laughs> oh, look, an animated gargoyle. Not today. Not today, Satan. <laughs> Maybe this one. Nope. Breakdancing baby. With this music on, I just want to see this baby going. Oh my god, guys, we got a Billy Butcherson head. Look at it. This sold out pretty quick everywhere. Ah! <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, let's go through the spirit aquarium here. Kind of stinks in here. <laughs> what has been happening in the spirit aquarium? There we go. At least that worked when we triggered it. It was pretty quick coming out of there, but at least it worked. Looks like everything else is kind of on the fritz in here. Again, though, end of the season. I'm seeing that in a lot of them here. All right. Let's come on back out here. Let's poke around a little bit, see if there's anything that we have not seen anywhere else. And those kinds of things are getting tough to find. However, I don't recall seeing the feral feline anywhere. Or, wait a minute, Deadly Teddy? I don't think I saw that one either. Total Stud, look at it, that's what it's called. Total Stud. <laughs> and then look at this one up here, Shattered Ripper Mask. I don't think I've seen that one either. Pikachu shirt, I don't know if I've seen that. Holy crap, a ghostly spirit, but better, a ghost groom. If they had a ghost bride, I would be totally freaked out. Because one year, my friends and I, five of us, saw a corpse bride float out from under a haunted bridge. I'm not even kidding, guys. Rasta wig and a Rasta hat. These I saw these in the other store, too. The United States of Halloween. I love that. I've seen some pretty cool tutorials on YouTube recently. People making, like, scars and stuff with liquid latex. Pretty good-looking stuff, too. A good times doll. Can't really hear what he's saying, but look at this fro and chops. <laughs> Holy crap, a Ouija board dress. I'm not into 
summoning demons, but I mean, that looks pretty cool. Okay, this is only the second store that I've seen this one in. I'm not even gonna comment on that. Baywatch, I have not seen this in any stores. But look, they even have the inflatable float. Wait, wait, wait. Look, <laughs> that's the dude. Hassle, don't hassle the Hoff. The Tweety Bird, I think that's just one. Yeah, oh, they got several though, so if you were going as a couple, you could be a couple of Tweety Birds. That was the dumbest thing I've ever said. How does that even make sense? <laughs> Crap, guys, look, I've seen other Rugrats costumes in other stores, but I've never seen the Angelica costume. That is awesome. Toon Squad suit. That's from Space Jam. It's Chicky. Wait, Chucky. Um. Look at this. This is cool. Edward Scissorhands decal. $1.99. That is awesome. Where my witches at? The one I just bought in the other store. Not today, Satan. Not any day. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. Ghostbusters air freshener. That's pretty sweet. How much is that? $4.99. Holy crap. Got a skull bong here for you Elkies. Uh, guys, look, it's the Spartans cheerleader. This is cool. Ghostbusters gel clings. That's pretty awesome. Zool. There is no Dana, only Zool. The Joker decal. Bag of stretchy body parts. <laughs> A jumbo syringe pen. When I was a nurse, there used to be medical companies come in and hand out syringe pens. They were like the actual size of a syringe though. Look guys, a bag of cut off fingers. <laughs> and they even have little broken bones in them. This is one of my favorites, the Squishy Mouse. It's an eight pack of Squishy Mouses. These little light up things from Toy Story. Well, here's a clown first. But then we got all the Toy Story ones. Jesse, Buzz, Slink, the Hog. <laughs> you remember what his name is. <laughs> oh, wait, we got the alien too. The Claw chooses who will stay and who will go. Look at this, guys. I don't think I've seen this anywhere. A uh, infant size cat in a hat suit. That is actually really cool. I like that. Holy crap, it's Edna glasses from Incredibles. Does the box need to be that big? Maybe it comes with the wig. It must come with, yeah, it comes with the wig too. <laughs> I thought it was like one giant box just for the glasses. Okay, no, I mean, no offense, and I think she'll actually appreciate this. Killer Clown Pigtails. This reminds me of Wally's girlfriend, Kayla. Holy crap. <laughs> If you're new to this channel and you don't know who Wally is, his channel is called Wally B26. He does a lot of uh, exploring, you know, kind of things that I do, uh, abandoned retail and things like that. You'll have to check him out. Here's that Nighty Night mask I saw the other day. This is only the second place I've seen this. Somebody told me that this was a, actually a uh, animatronic from one of the past years where he was holding up like a kid by the leg and the kid was screaming. I actually do remember seeing that one. It's one of my favorites, but I didn't remember the face. I think we've pretty much seen everything, guys. I, I don't even want to leave. It's such a bummer to think that the season is coming to an end. And this is more than likely the last Spirit Halloween store I will be in for this season. But I'm totally looking forward to next year, where these walls will be totally plastered with all kinds of new releases new animatronics, all kinds of awesome things. So we have that to look forward to. And I personally cannot wait. Goodbye, spirit. I'll miss you, white goblin. I'll miss you, cocooned corpse. I'll miss you, waving wally. I'll miss you, headless help. I'll miss you, breakdancing baby. I'll miss you, talking pumpkin door knocker. I'll miss you, spooky pigtail skeleton. I'll miss you, Billy Butcherson. I'll miss you, Indiana Jones's heart. I'll miss you, Rusty. I'll miss you, Iron Rod.
I'll miss you, scary jumping spider. I'll miss you, spooky alien who doesn't do anything. I'll miss you, shark skull. I'll miss you, half-working haunted tree. I'll miss you, non-fogging three-headed wolf. I'll miss you, Pennywise. I'll miss you, Nightmare on Elm Street socks. I'll miss you, spooky animated ghost I didn't know about this whole season until just today. I'll miss you, under repair, Bubba. And I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. All right, guys, let's get out of here. These people must think I am absolutely crazy. That is it for the Lancaster, Ohio Spirit Halloween in the River Valley Mall in what used to be the Elder Beerman. Probably the last Spirit Halloween I'll be filming this season, which breaks my heart. But stick around, we're gonna do Christmas next, and then next year it's an all new Halloween. <laughs>